Wow. <laughs> looks horrible. Okay, never mind. Let's go. Are you sure this community we want? Not really, but we're going anyway. The game's unplayable if you aren't getting chatters killed precisely, young. And we're empty. Again. So, whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time I accidentally stumbled on a juggernaut. I have a better idea. We could settle down here instead of moving on. I admit, it looks better than the last couple of towns we came through. Now that you mention it, it does feel kind of homey. It's settled. This town is where we'll set up our new base. Oh my god, I'll have to listen to we'll Lily to Ritter again. Defensible. Maybe with some... Okay, well, we'll make do, won't we? Right, well, now it starts for real, then. We get the new oh that'll be that'll be what I missed. I didn't get the new home mission to prop because I exited out so quickly. I say we find a place that's extra defensible. So you always start out with some goodies in your car. So I'm gonna take those and bring them to the new base. It's time for us to find new digs. It certainly is. You hold on to that and just hold on to everything. The new base is right here. Unless you get a blood feral spawning on you, it's really no problem moving to the first place. And even then, three Three characters dedicated to smashing in a Blood Feral's face is going to be plenty. A little spit and polish, and we could live here. Yeah, this will work. Let's claim this shit pile and move. Nice and easy. Am I might even playing lethal mode here? Oh no, I, I uh, had a Blood Feral spawn right on top of me the first time I loaded this one up to test it out for streaming. We need some eyes out there. Right, that's what we're talking about. We've got the, the mission for Material World, so that means we're alright to come out of here and actually name these people properly. Which will only take me a minute, but it will still take me a minute. And you have to come out of the game for the changes to take effect. So, as long as you come this far out of the game, you're okay. And I'm going to load up the Community Editor, which... A big part of the reason I'm running this is because the community editor was updated just a couple days ago to keep up with the game. You won't see it on the stream, it's not really worth much to uh, to do that right now. Just know that I'm going into them and I'm renaming the characters. So L... Now I, I do like the name L, but you are now Earl, last name Von Voomer, nickname Earl Von Voomer. And I'm not going to change any of their stats. Actually, I'm going to change your your voice. Any Zeds in here? I hate that. Come but get me. Okay, there are plenty of voices I evidently hate in this game. What's better? Time to spin the wheel of zombies. Wheel, wheel of punishment, you say? All right, I'm sticking with that voice then. And uh, I hope there's some ass to kick in here. That sounds like IFT clerk. The the editor thankfully gives you voice clips that you can check on. IFT last name clerk. Nickname, IFT, Clerk. And lastly, and possibly least... Another day, another cakewalk. Right, who is this going to be? That sounds like Kaladin. Kaladin, last name non-existent. Nickname, Kaladin. Kaladin. Save, and we should be good to go. And I should be able to just continue off of that, but just in case, let's come in and click it here. Kaladin's voice in this game is by far my favourite. He sounds like DJ Atomica from... Ooh, awful Guns N' Roses opening. Um, Burnout Paradise. What a game. I'll have to stream that someday. Watching that just recently got me all kinds of hungry for it, but... Uh... Can certainly be problems with copyright. Has to be gathering we'll so, to improve this place. you're not wrong, we do need materials. So, let's ditch this. I'm actually going to take someone with me because it seems like these initial places nearby have a lot of goods. I generally don't like taking AIs with me, but, you know, it's just Kaladin's life. After you. And while we're at it, Kaladin, you're not allowed any of that stuff. I'm going to ditch it in the base. See, if you go empty-handed, you got more space for things. Also means you are far more vulnerable, but that's okay. 
So apparently there are materials over here, but there was guns over here. I'm gonna get Kaladin gunned up first. I was very happy to get out of this crummy starting base, says Brute. Yeah. I'll be happy to get out of it. Well, it's so bad. There's just nothing. You, you can't even do anything with it. Um, however, getting out of that base means that we're going to have to take care of Plague Hearts because the other bases are in Plague Heart terri territory. Okay, jeez, man. This guy did not want me one-shotting him. Bit better defended this time. Let's just go in and murder them. A one. And a two. Sometimes you just cannot be afraid of the zombies. Especially if you know it's in and out, no mucking about. If you know that you're going to be doing a, a really deep search into wherever you are, then maybe you don't want to attract too much attention. Oh, this is much better. We're finding jack compared to our la- oh. Oh, well, okay, we'll just find an even better gun than the AK this time. There you go, Kaladin. You get your sighted Scar H. Right now, Dark Young is wincing in pain. That's his favorite gun. A lot less other stuff this time around, but that's all right. Shouldn't talk about the other time. People who watch this on YouTube later on will be seeing the failure run. I wanted to let you know we've had a couple Lily, please no. I don't want to listen to Lily. They seem like good folks. Thanks, Ray. It's nice to hear that people are coming back to It's the fourth time I've had to listen to Lily here. Take care of yourself, all right? I count on you to keep an eye on Jumble for me. So, ditch what we can, but I'm still bringing you and your gun with me. And we're going to get those materials, because materials are good. Is the Juggernaut Edition part important? I don't even know if they sell this game without Juggernaut Edition as part of it now. Are you dead? Not dead enough. Stay down. Oh, thank you. I wonder if they made the AIs any better at uh, defending themselves. They were okay before, but only okay. And best zombie game helpful AI I can think of ever would be the survivors in Dead Rising 2. Those guys, oh, they were really good at keeping themselves alive. I love just arming up loads of NPCs, having them follow you and absolutely clean the streets in that game. So in this game, it's all about scavenging, grabbing what you need, and building up your base. And I can really get behind that conceptually. It's not a novel concept, though. The difference is, this game actually pulls it off quite well. Alright, I'll just leave Kaladin to uh, get munched on and deal the shots. I mean, he's got the gun after all. I'm sure he'll be fine out there. I made a bit of a din because I like to be fast when searching. Nobody's got time for slow. Jeez, come to think of this map, this base has so much nothing. I'll have to consider if I want to build up a uh, medi post or. It's time to get building. Either a workshop Only or an infirmary eight. would be a good place to start. I couldn't build either of those things because you don't ever want to be out of materials. Can Things break down, down in second. that case. It's taking so long out there. Way too loud. There we go. Very nice. Back you go. The game still insists that I build something, so I'm going to say I'm going to build it, and then not build it. Oh, Cal didn't even get injured when I left them behind for dead there. Good job. And this is the all-important mission that we bugged out before. Talk to Yukon. Oh, the Yukon! A new rise of industry would make its way back somehow. Not even going to take the Molotov with me, forget that. Where are they at? They're down there, so I'm going to check out that point en route to scour the area again. <laughs> I re-rolled Dark Young because I didn't want that uh, AK, instead I get the scar. Oh crap, it's a plague screamer. It certainly is. Plague Screamers feel so much less deadly now that I'm not playing on Dark Side. Oh, that's an unpleasant combination, but with a little bit of 
be an ass sneaky like, as some say. I can get myself uh, badly maimed. So those bloaters there. What's with the flying zombie? That bloater there, if you breathe in his gas, you have your stamina until you get better. And without uh, an infirmary, I won't be getting better. But that's alright. I can make do with minimal stamina. Unless a blood feral appears, in which case I'm off to a very rough start. Oh, what do we have here? A little camping site. I'm sure these sites would be familiar to me if I was uh, a fan of the first state of decay, but I am not. And I even played it. I think it was a Patreon game. Gave it a shake for a couple hours. I think I even gave it a second session, but it just had no real lasting appeal to me. Conceptually, great, but it just didn't pull it off quite as well as the sequel does here. So, just leg it over here, get a view of the area. With a bit of luck, we'll find another vehicle. The sooner you get a vehicle, the better. It increases the amount that you can bring back from every bit of harvesting the area. Unfortunately, without the mod, it's not as good. But they did at least allow you to have more goods inside your car, because they stack. Goods stack to double in the back of a car now. So instead of only being able to carry like three bags of crisps, <laughs> you can now carry six bags of crisps in your car. Okay, we did spot a vehicle. And hey, it's right over where I want to go. And it's a repair van, which uh, sucks until you upgrade it. But, upgrade it I shall. And on the way there, I'm going to stop by all of these locations because more goods are better goods. Ow, my legs. But, mmm, drugs. One. There was no time to take the ladder. Hello, Trumbo Valley. This is Tressie Winter, speaking to you from downtown Marshall. Most of you don't know me yet, but if things go well, you will soon. All about getting the kills from behind, if possible. Since there's two buildings here, now, one of them's probably pretty full of goods. I'm not fast searching because that would bring potentially lots of zombies my way. Very fortunate though, got some fuel. And some magnum rounds. It's very rare that I have the opportunity to be firing magnum this rounds. Like a loot -rich environment. It is a loot rich environment, but I think we have to check upstairs before we claim the place That's is secure. Like it's good. Very good. Tons of things to be had, so let's just. Oh, okay. This is an even fair game. Uh, hunting crossbow. Crossbows are great because uh, the ammo can be reused, it's cheap to make, it's in, uh, it completely silent, and it increases the chance of getting samples off of zombies you killed. I don't know anything about an S2K. Fires 9mm, automatic survival rifle, automatic. Well, that's going to be good in an AI's hands. One of my problems with the game on lethal mode, and lethal is the game's hardest mode on vanilla, is that it's just not hard enough. It still gives you tons of everything. That's why I need dark side in my diet. Yeah, hunting bow is one of the worst ones. You want the repeating bow is the best, or other any other light bow is fine. Because the light ones, they do the least damage, but they're the most recoverable. And you don't want penetration on a crossbow. Well... 95% of the time you don't want penetration because it makes it less likely that you can recover your bolt. Still, getting any crossbow early on is a nice boon and I am drowning in the items that I'm finding here. I have to come away and get to that uh, vehicle instead. But the nice thing is, even if you search things and can't pick them up, this game has pretty good permanence. Even a rucksack that you drop on the ground is still going to be there if you load your game later on. Uh, speaking of rucksacks, there's... There's the rucksack of bullets right there. Alright, speed it up. Nobody's got all day. Well, I have all day, but I also have some Amiyui to play later on. Empty. I just rang the damn dinner bell. That I did, and I don't even have space for that. So, fair enough, I can come back here and grab the rest of that loot later. For now, let's go and meet our new friends. Good, I do have this equipped. Did I just hear a feral? 
If I did, I'm going to want to cover that next 120 meters pretty swiftly. Generally in this game, most things aren't a threat unless you are in a place where you can't easily run away and you're truly mobbed by zombies. Like or you've got a There's whole a load of ferals. Probably lots of plague zombs too. Right, there we go. Stitch. Ooh. No place to put it. I know, but that's not a problem. Let's ditch a lot of stuff in here. Plenty of space for stuff here. Take out the repair bit. And we will put some fuel in this repair van. Do you really want to play Ama Yui though when you can crush zombie skills? I want to do both. And the lovely thing is with the uh, rise of industry falling by the wayside, I've got loads of time for this. Still, this game will run its natural cause first. So there we go. The the van is largely good and operational. Seems clear for now. But with a plague heart around, that won't last. So normally, I'd go, okay, this area is secure, and it would get an area around it where zombies wouldn't spawn. But since this is blood plague territory. Look at that. C claimed by one plague heart. There's probably a plague heart around here that's exerting zone of control over it. We come in handy. Oh, that comes in very handy. I cannot, uh, this is, this I cannot get it. my safe zone, and I cannot claim the area. Box of tampons. Well, that's worth good, good stuff to me. I'll be taking that. I don't want to sell any of this. Oh, but the, the scrap can go in there as well. So big important mission from these survivors. And thankfully, survivors, um, the areas that they take over look a lot more like they're actually held by survivors. They put in one of those to show that there's living people here. And I feel like they clear out the lines a bit better. They actually have sight lines going on here that they can fire out from. Normally, you just have them bunged into a, a shed, and it's like they're not even living there. Okay, we are the neighbors, yes. I want to learn about you first. Ah, you seem alright. And what kind of trading goods do you have? All right. I want those materials. I will sell you tampons, I will buy your lumber, and I will buy your gas can. Wonderful. Now what do you need? How's it going? Right. The safest way to collect samples is by killing plague zombies. You don't say. The best place to find them is in the territory around a plague heart. Basically, it's affect their whole environment. It's fucking nasty. Or you could just destroy the plague heart itself to get a bunch of samples. That's more dangerous. You can really tell where uh, they added the extra line there for the update. Okay, so our task, our task is to become friendly with them by getting two. Oh, I knew there was a feral there. It's all right. That's officially not my problem now. Kill some plague zombies. Get some plague samples. And then we'll be able to manufacture the cure, provided we have a medical area, which I'm about to build now, because I've got plenty of stuff for it. Just ditch everything. Everything. Maybe fuel up the repair van while I can. Please, no Lily. That valley will always have someone there to watch out for you. Boomer, you... Oh, ah, here we go. Congratulations, Boomer. You now run... And that's someone with a simple S2K. I'm taking the rest of your stuff. Ditch pretty much everything. And there we go. We have a reasonable starting base of supplies. And I will have an infirmary. It's probably the most important thing to have. If somebody starts dying, that's the only way to keep them alive. You're not wrong about that. I'm going to be heading back down here, grab what I left behind, and get myself the plague samples. One of the best ways to guarantee plague samples is to kill a juggernaut, because they drop a few. But killing a juggernaut is no small order, especially early on in the game. Later on, when you have a base full of uh, guys that are heavily equipped for the task, they can shred juggernauts with impunity, and you just hoover up all the samples that they drop, but we are not at that stage just yet. So let's grab that few scraps that we left behind in this barn. Bullets are always welcome. 
I think are far less useful here than in dark side, but especially to the mid game, if you can manufacture uh, actual bullets out of scavenged bullets, you're on to a winner, as I like to say. Oh my goodness, there's the there's the plague feral. I'm glad he didn't follow up on me there. You know what, plague feral? How about you come and meet my new friends? Fucking plague zombies must think they own this town. Hello, I've got a new friend for you guys. So I always love to make friends by bringing my problems to them and seeing how they handle it. It's a good way to find out just how equipped they are for the situation. What is that gun? It sounds pretty meaty. There are people around this community that love to show their knowledge of guns, right? What is she firing? Look at the size of it! I hope she dies so I can have her gun. So that takes care of that feral and a bunch of zombies without me having to risk my life or my vehicle. And the vehicle's the more important part of that. I don't want this vehicle blowing up or else I've got a long way to walk. Yeah man, I want her gun. It would be in my benefit then if she dies. But you know, nothing new there. Well, I want to park my truck somewhere central. It's not a truck, it's a van. So that I got plenty of places to uh, to fill it up from. And here we go. The plague heart is in here. And it has infected this whole area. Meaning we can't make our, our places okay, and bases. And there's no way in hell I'm taking that on right now. I would want a bigger, heavier melee weapon. But when I get that, that's what I'll be doing. I want to play this a lot more aggressively than I played the last one. Go in, murder those plague hearts, get the goodies for it. Still, whilst I'm nice and central, let's get to work. The miasma that you see in front of you does make this place a whole lot deadlier with plague zombies and stuff. Oh, that's... Damn, that's the worst ammo press. Very rarely do you ever want heavy-duty bullets, and they're very expensive. So yeah, I'm keen on, keen on playing this considerably more aggressively than I did previous. It's not means I'm gonna. Doesn't mean I'm gonna play stupidly though. What are what are those uh, baseless retorts? Be a man, stand and fight. So I'd rather be an alive man. Oh, fuel! Fuel's always good. Pretty much all the resources are always good. The one I value the least is actually food, because food you can get fairly. Hold still, hold still. That was my last shot. What do you mean that was my last shot? Oh, I threw away all my. Uh, I threw away all my arrows, didn't I? Oh well. I hope that's a recoverable one. Wait, I didn't even hit him in the head. Well, that's bad, because he's calling a lot of friends now. Yeah. Oh, well. I might have my work cut out for me at this rate. Still, however you cut it, I need to murder a bunch of these zombies that have just come out of the jam factory. Because they will have the samples that I'm looking for. But with a bit of dodging and a bit of murdering, you can take care of them nice and easily. However, I managed to forget that I am really quite low on stamina thanks to breathing and all of that bloater fumes. So, let's try and play our cards right here. Keep an eye on what's ahead of you, what's behind you, and, uh... Oh, wow. They were really idiotic. Yeah, the gas burned our lungs. Okay, we actually ran around them so quickly that they didn't even notice us. Making the tense music a little disingenuous. But in situations like these, just sneak up on them. It's great training for your character's wits as well to be doing this. 
Select off the list. And since there's an infirmary back at the base, I'll be able to get this guy healed up from his burning lungs passively. Actually, I might need to level it up before I can do that. There's one of the plague samples I needed, and while we're at it, Garden Supply might have some building materials for me. I believe the tense music is playing because there's a play cart there. But like I said, I'm not. Even if I start smacking at the thing. I can't believe this is my plan. Yeah, he's he's not impressed either. Using a tiny little light weapon on that, not gonna help. I haven't explored much of this place, apparently. There's a lot more to explore in this steel company. And explore it I shall. Another tampon. Rise of industry. New kind of factory needed here. Next time I'll just use a fucking bullhorn. <laughs> Bane wouldn't be scared to start you. <laughs> yeah, but who would start opening fire on the plague heart, young? Oh, well actually, funnily enough, this drive shaft club would be good for it. It's all about impact when it comes to doing damage to the plague hearts. Bigger impact, more damage. Oh, now that is good. I highly value materials. Heavy weapons aren't so good for dealing with zombies because they really knack you when you swing them, but... I actually have a big penchant for... Drop something else first. Oh, Christ. Big penchant for the heavy weapons. Also, screamers. Not that threatening, but... More lives than I care to admit have been lost to the screamer in this game. So, down you go. Drop off the excess in the truck and try and grab our last... We can't really secure this place. Grab our last plague sample that we need. Is this thing filled up now, though? Spare me, Lily. Bunch of zombies over here. Surely one of them has I what I need. I we weren't supposed to pick up that conversation. I just dropped off a couple things I found while I was out. Really, Calvin? Because I'm not seeing anything that you've picked up. Right, easy does it now. It's a real RNG fest, whether or not these guys drop the plague samples. And on lethal mode, it's as low as it goes. That's why having a crossbow and actually remembering to bring the ammunition for it is a big boon. Because that rather massively ups the odds of them dropping them. Alternative is just drive your car through a whole load of plague zombies, but your car... Especially on lethal mode, takes a lot of damage. 300% damage on lethal mode, in fact. Or maybe it's 300% extra. Couldn't we just bash in the heart? We certainly could. But with this guy and his lowered stamina, that would be asking for a lot of trouble that we don't need to put ourselves through. There we go. Yoink. It's done to a T. Damn right I'm great, Yukon. I like that name, Yukon. Does do people get the name Yukon? Locked. Bust it open then. Oh. That's a lot of racket. I'm missing something. There's one thing to loot that I have not found They're here. Getting around it. We need more fuel. Vumer, what do we need fuel for exactly? Please explain that one to me. Must have passed me by. Okay, what has also passed me by is where that last uh, bit to explore is here. But it's no big deal. Am I being chased? Well, whether I'm being chased or not, I'm getting out of here. Uh, I will clear the zombies first, though, because it takes a while to start up your vehicle. And in that time, they can latch on and 
The zombies do crazy damage to your vehicle if they're latched on. Apparently Yukon is more of a dog name. Well, if I ever get a dog, I will seriously consider that. Better than calling them Spot or Rover. Ah, crumbs, I missed you. Right, we skedaddle. We skedaddle. The van is far from the most agile of vehicle. Oh, Christ, I didn't see where I was going there. So let's just get out of this enclosure and deliver. It's <laughs> just in time for a screamer as Oh boy! That's not all it's just in time for. Not my feral. Oh jeez, it's my feral! Don't worry guys, I'm sure you'll be fine with that deagle of yours. These guys might be in a lot of trouble. I should finish the quest before these guys uh, potentially die. You! I'm done. Gimme, gimme, gimme. God, you're even grabbing yourself in pain. Talk to me! Talk to me! Oh, jeez. They know what I'm about. They don't want to... They don't want to award me the quest well done. There we go. Now they can die all they want. Although conveniently, that was the end of the zombies. If I was really badass, I would threaten this, um, this enclave to kill her for the deagle, but I can see that going wrong in a hundred different ways. It's also good to have friendly... Uh, it's good to have friendly communities. They can really help you out in a pinch. Right now. We have some news to share. We need more medicine around here. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Okay, true enough, we have very little medicine and absolutely no fuel. I'm going to fix one of those just by bringing the goods back home. And then Kaladin will be stepping up, or Voomer will step up. Whatever the case, IFT can take a much needed break. Looks like they're not spawning bloaters on top of you when you're driving anymore, which is nice. I was thinking about it, Bane. Wow, you're just me, but uh, heavier. Howdy. Alright, swell. There's no gun to switch out with you, but I will make sure that you are locked and loaded. With a crossbow. But with no ammo for the crossbow, because AIs don't use ammo. We'll get you checked into our really crummy infirmary. And then... Hmm... Well, Boomer's in chat right now, so if you're gonna die, might as well have you, uh... Have you live your last on stream? Oh, you've been tinkering away with this thing. Well, let's not leave the door open, shall we? So, it says automatic. Is this gun really automatic? Do any gun nerds know me, uh, know anything about a simple S2K? Compact, semi, oh, semi-auto. Ah. Pistol caliber rounds for convenience. Right then. Right, right, right then. I'm not really invested in eliminating this plague heart because it doesn't really free up much of anything. Although I do like the idea of that garden shed giving me some goodies. What I should be doing is looking towards where I want to set up base next and clear the area around that. Red Talon's Daybreak FOB has a lot of slots going for it and can be taken with five characters. Pterodactyl Park sounds awful. Farming Compound. It's really central, good for getting everywhere. A barbecue pit, a lot of open slots. Very expensive though, and I think Fort Marshall is the end game area. So I should probably be going for. Well, the Tranquilite Factory is close to all of this, but claimed by three hearts. Lived 
Might go for a red talon. Oh. Sorry, you're not taking anything right now, Boomer. It seems that Kaladin has a quest for us, and I want to do that. The prepping ant is a really good one. Let's make sure that you're not firing this too gung ho. I think we're ready to add some new faces to our little community. If I can go up there. No, that's not the that's not the BOV. Alright, we're gonna go up here, have a scout around the whole area, and grab what we can into our big old truck. And hopefully what I can find includes some meds for the poor dying clerk. Huntex Rise of Industry has some severe crippling performance issues, and it's gotten so bad that I really can't keep playing. And I've got pretty high tolerance for poor performance. Uh, let's label that as our lookout point. I have a few ideas for taking care of it, but it mostly just involves raising Atlantis as high as I can so that the game has less pathfinding that it has to do. Because pathfinding is what's gobbling up most of the performance here. Ooh. And this game looks so good. Double tonk. Tonking does not injure your vehicle, but it does uh, it does injure your vehicle's door. The distinction is important. Alright, I've made a bit too much attention, so I'm going to do a bit of fence hopping. Hope that I don't upset the neighbors too much. Now, normally, in situate... Ooh, we don't like that. If anyone can hear this, I wouldn't mind a bit of help. I lost my train of thought entirely. If somebody can get me back on the rails, I'd appreciate it. Whatever I was saying just completely went out of my brain. Hmm, this music is different. Doors, yes. Normally, if you run over a zombie, you do horrible damage to your car, but if you only hit them with a the door, only the door takes damage. And the door will eventually fall off, but, you know, it's going to fall off anyway if your vehicle explodes. Better to clock some zombies with it while you can. And also, normally, I'd be grabbing these places to get small temporary safe zones, but because we're in plague heart territory, you don't get those. And I like that. I like that a lot. Because even a small safe zone can make a huge difference. All right, what do we have up here? Shouldn't matter if I make any noise this high up. It's useful, I guess. Yeah, it's not very useful. But this is okay. lots of areas. And that means we can find the plague hearts and find places that are likely to have what we need to destroy them. Kalgin just showing off his scar H as he ponders around the area. We could make a solid outpost out of that spot. Okay. Nothing more to see here. Yeah, but we did see quite a lot. Also, there's a screamer around. Let's check the map for more in-depth information about this. Holy moly, there's a lot to be exploring here. But I need meds. And I need building materials. Building materials are there. But first things first, we need to deal with this mission, which means getting over there. We already got fuel for the base, didn't we? Yeah, so meds take priority. Meds, meds, meds. Playground restroom. Potential meds. Alright, Voomer's got a mission for us once we grab this, so we will be switching over to Voomer. Once all's said and done. Just got the itch, Baney. It'll be a challenge run when the Dark Side mod is updated. And I hope it is someday. This looks like a good place to find some building materials or some fuel. Well, I don't think it's going to be building materials, since the only other thing to search is that tiny wee bit there. But fuel is a nice close second. I always like carrying some fuel. I'm not rushing this search, because I do not want all the zombies on my ass in plague territory. Oh, that's grim. Definitely not what I was after. Not really sure I want to go out of my way to hit up that toilet. 
This is not death road to Canada. We do not need the biofuel that badly. And before anybody calls out for more running of death road to Canada on the stream, we have death roaded to Canada aplenty. Ever since I beat Kappa mode, I don't really feel the desire to be going back to that game. There does come a point where you have just done everything you need to do in a game. And for me, I have hit that in Death Road. <laughs> I haven't heard anything about Frostpunk 2 that you haven't. Nice. I mean, this place is free of zombies, so it would normally just be a uh, free safe area. But nope, no safety in Blood Territory. What else is there to grab here? Apparently there are two more things. Are they out front? For a missing person. You're gonna help, right? Oh. Not saying yes. Washing around for all this fuel often pays off. And that is no exception. Nice. Fuel can be a bit of a strain early game unless you hit up somewhere like this early. And this place is doing me justice. Nice thing about actually having some stamina is that you can swiftly sneak up the Zombambos and eliminate them. I don't want... was that a feral? Hello? Right, well, I've just alerted every zombie that I am in the vicinity, but oh god, they are around there as well. But that is still so much better than getting feraled. I need to drop this fuel in the truck. So that I can run around without getting so knackered. A cool trick, Jake. Who taught you that? What, the trick of uh, killing ferals by shooting them? Um, I'm a natural at it, so don't worry. Right, this zombie really wants a piece of me. God, I'm tired. Oh god! I'm not able to land those hits for some reason. Okay, well, I've just invited everything to come and kill me. Okay, though, just uh, grab a bit of a breath up here. Leg it. Did I hear a boomer or a bloater or a fat ass of some description? No, it's just a regular, everyday, all American zombie, right, Baron? Alright. Oh, what? Oh, hello! Ah! <laughs> I'd rather not. So did I mention that uh, blood territory is a bit deadly compared to regular? <sighs> Juggernaut on day one. Oof. All right, that should have gotten me far enough away. Oh. Okay, I should be far enough away for them not to notice that I'm here. Let's make sure it stays that way. So you be quiet. And all that because a feral came out the window, and it, I did think it more advisable to slaughter the feral and alert everyone to my position than leave the feral be, because the feral would have hunted me down. No escape. Now, the worst thing that juggernaut could do is start slamming away on my van. Uh, too soon, Ritter. Much too soon. Yeah, sometimes if he's idling, he'll just start ramming into your vehicle, which is not very nice, and will make it explode. And I'm not in a position to have my vehicle just blow out on me. Hopefully you don't hear me. And... There we go, go. Let's make our way in here. Hope that we don't wake the... Wake the dead, literally. Now let's sneak around and grab... And ye 
shall receive. Yeah, I do like light crossbow. Now I can put light crossbow darts to use. This thing is usually where the ants' stuff is, I think. The upright, cardboardy, boxy thing. It is not, but I will take a combat knife. I'm not really sure if there's much difference between the close combat weapons. They all kill in one hit. I think some have different animations, but maybe it's tied to skill. I don't know, and it doesn't really matter. A rusty screwdriver is still just as good as anything else in my view. Got, what we came for. got it. Oh, and we got the best backpack as well. Wonderful. One of my aunt's prepper plans. It's in code, but if I decipher it, maybe I can figure out where she went. Jeez, how much do we want to press our luck in Deathville here? I do want meds, and there'll be meds over there. It's a hundred meters of uh, scary away. And uh, it's probably not free of threats itself. And I'm a little full on items. But... I think it's worth a, a little bit of a shamble over. Maybe Andarius. Well, probably Andarius. The performance is just so nasty on that game. The chef's knife is cursed, Jake. If you have it, you're probably going to die. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. Plus, it's not a chef knife that I've got. It's a combat knife. I seem to recall there being a cursed chef knife before, though. Screamer there. Screamer's worth using my only dart on. There goes my last shot. Because I don't want that guy screaming on me. Let's make sure we're still equipped with this. Oh, the update added sidearms, so you can actually carry a pistol or other similarly small weapon in addition to your main weapon. Stops you having to inventory so much to switch. Now let's just quietly. Grab what we need from this med camp. It's probably more than I can carry, but I'm mostly here for a backpack full of meds. Oh, well, okay, that's very welcome. 21 additional shots with this light bow. IFT clerk's no longer fatigued, but I still think he has his burning lungs. Okay, this is looking good. I don't know why a medical center would have so many crossbow bolts. I can only assume it's what they plucked from their visitors. If anywhere's likely to have a rucksack, it's going to be here. I hope that it does. Because anything else I won't be able to carry. Or I'll have to triage my items. Ugh, dental floss. Oh, but the new backpack I got gives me just enough room for that dental floss. Juggernaut's still there. That public restroom is still an option for grabbing a sack of meds. There was a yapping dog in the stairwell just there. Slightly scared the Jesus out of me. Lock. No, don't do locked, just go over instead. Alright, seems quiet enough. We can take a leisurely jog back to base. If anything comes our way, I can dispatch it. Pow pow with this. I'm not sure if the knight is your ally or not in this game. Yeah, but I want to be there as well. Taking care of a horde is a great way to get influence. And leaving it to your cohorts is a great way to lose ammo. Wasn't a medical camp for the zombies, Jake. It was a medical camp for all the bullet wounds and hunting accidents the Americans were causing themselves. Okay. Yeah, there's a silver lining to everything. I'm just going to use that bandage as soon as I found it. Keep Kaladin upright. Dying is one thing, but dying to just stupidity and... Uh-oh, uh-oh. You stay in there. Oh, okay. Well, that works. Drunk zombie falling out as it comes to get me. Oh, jeez. Right, I do not want them coming on my truck. I don't want you on it either, so... If I take out the nearest plague heart... Oh, there was a zombie right there. Well, that's a problem. Get it off, get it off, get it off. Okay, let's go. So I didn't get the meds, but I was able to get the ant prepper plan, which is very useful. There'll be some follow-up missions there. They'll get us a vehicle and uh, one of the best... Yeah. By some measures, one of the best guns in the game. 
Tonk. God, there's a fair whack of zombies, you could say. And we're about to have them besiege our base. But it's an early game siege and it's not dark fire. Dark side, rather. So I don't think it's going to be that bad. But the base is pretty bad, so your mileage may vary on that one. No room Let's for that. ditch just about everything I can. Make sure we have that equipped. Ditch that. I want to take one of you. I want to make sure this thing is fully stocked. Mm, that's fully enough stocked up. I'm not gonna lie. We have a truckload of zombies coming in. Yeah, and you're not gonna be the one to deal with it. I don't think. Still bite me on the ass. Um, and 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 and. Let's see. Ooh, plus one labor if Kaladin levels up. Kaladin is taking this fight then. Although, do you even have a gun, Boomer? I don't think you do. All right, I'm taking control of you. Oh, you do have a gun. I gave you the simple S2K. Oh well. At least I'll be able to see how it handles. Yeah, well, maybe get out of bed, IFT. Again, early game siege should not be anything to worry about. It'll be like five zombies. Although I don't want that bloater to be one of them. Oh, he got behind the uh, the truck. The um, got behind the rock there. there we go. We're plenty equipped for this, I'm sure. On the plus side, the zombies don't have many ways in. They come over here, get instantly dispatched, and the doors are close enough to be able to swiftly slam open and closed. Oh, uh, there's that bloater then. I'm loath to ever miss the sieges, because in my eyes, that's where the game comes alive. It's where everything you've put together is put to the test. It's over. That's a relief. Nice. Okay. Trader, friend in need. I need... Oh, we need to go up north quite a bit into plague territory, which ain't so good. Hey, ugly. You. You stay down. Screamers you absolutely do not want in your base. Spawn anything inside your base. Uh, how are we looking on the infirmary? Kaladin get gets it a little bit. Our morale is terrible because the food is low and the meds are low. I don't want people breaking due to lack of that stuff. I need to set up... Um... Ooh, well, that's a good place to collect meds. So I should probably stop by there on the way and grab it, just so people stop moaning about lack of meds. And I need to help you guys out. The ambient goals I can leave for probably a long time. But I need these goods. I also need to check that out that. Okay. I'm going to help these guys, and then I'm going to... Grab that medical tent, and then I'm going to survey, and then I'm going to head up north for that. You got your work cut out for your Voomer. You're actually going to be dropping that gun and taking that bow and a full load of bolts. Eh, maybe fool's a bit much. Uh, 20 should be plenty, and give you enough space to grab extra. Ah, nice to see you're still alive, amigo. Uh, yes, I suppose it is. All right, Voomer, let's go, and let's not let us down. You know what Young does? He runs away so they despawn. That sounds like Young's kind of tactic. But then he'll say that somebody else is the one that does such cowardly tactics. And he might even call them evil satanic arseholes. You know, it's all about who makes the history. That uh, face first van crash was dedicated to Baron. And uh, for the third time, I am going to be leading a feral over to these guys in the hopes that we kill Yukon. Because Yukon has that deagle that I want. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Oh, jeez Louise. Alright, they're doing an alright job on them. Oh, I don't want you there. There we go. I've done my good deed. I've eliminated the... Uh, eliminated the Screamer. Let's take care of some of these guys. I'm relatively safe because I'm on a high position here. Uh, um, how about you don't come up here? Okay, good. It's skedaddled. I do not want any of them coming up here. bad with that. Ah, I'm sure she'll be fine. Remember, I want a deagle out of this. But Yukon's got the deagle. Hmm. Oh jeez, there's a lot of zombies there and I didn't bring a Molotov or anything like that. Oh man, I'm gonna have a hard time getting out of here. All right, tell you what, you being de whoa now, you being dead would be the first step in all that. Take it down. Unless they brought another feral in here, in which case that's a problem for me. I want that. I want that. Uh, that deagle though. And there you are. Where's your head at? There we go. All me. Oh, she's dead! Right. Deagle girl. Get up. There we go. That deagle is mine. Now I just need to take care of all the zombies here. And this is exactly why I brought a silent weapon. Oh, wait. Doesn't Yukon have the deagle? Who has the deagle? I thought she had the deagle. She was the one out doing all that work. Holy smokes, these zombies ain't dying easy, are they? Still, as long as there's no more screamers, we're alright. I spent a lot of ammo on this, though. It's alright, though. I'll grab any that's lying around. Reload. Easy does it now. You guys can't get rid of me that easily. What's next? I'll tell you what's next. Taking care of all Oh Christ, they made it up. If they're down though, that's oh jeez. Go! Taken care of. <laughs> Can you go and look for my friend? Yeah, why not? Oh, Don't do anything too stupid out there. Oh, that was good. Okay. I just heard that one of the groups we were supporting in Trumbull left the valley. It sounds like they're pretty angry with us. Yeah, I'd be angry too if I was getting all these messages from Litter uh, from her that I can't ignore. All right, the police auctioned golden vulture is now mine. And here's your new survival knife, Boomer. I'm sure glad I'm not the one she's yelling at. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got four plague samples out of that. That's almost enough for a full cure. Jake using his hundreds of viewers to sully the name of a small streamer. <laughs> What is power if not abused? I would hazard to say it's not power at all. I wanted to check for any drops out of that. Okay, well that couldn't have gone much better. We Wait, there was another one of your cohorts that died here, wasn't there? You said uh, apparently there's two still alive. I think I, I think I somehow let one of them live, which was not my intention. 
But maybe it's the one that apparently has gone missing. So where's your friend at, by the way? Up there. Well, coincidentally, that's en route, because I want to go and grab that. So that was what one might call a big win. Except I'm a little banged up here. Let's just hope I don't manage to accidentally get Voomer killed during all this. I'll store the Vulture in here for now. Same with that backpack. It's not going to be doing us any good. And the rusty screwdriver I'll keep on hand, because the there's a good chance I'm going to want to drop it. The the risk I'm taking. Right, we're taking over that army medical tent. I need meds, because we currently consume meds, and we don't have any way of generating them currently. I think I said currently twice there. Ugh, I hate this choke point. A bloater tucked around the corner there would, uh, well, could easily end someone's life. If you get hit with bloater gas when you're inside a vehicle, it's very bad for you. Also, I think I heard a, um... I think I heard a plague feral. I'd be happy to be wrong, though. I think I was wrong. I think it was just some nearby zombie taking a lucky swipe. Just turn it into an unlucky swipe. There we go. This is actually one of the worst places I could ever hope to get an outpost. It's in the middle of nowhere and doesn't help anything. But we need the goods, so we're going on in. We should. How do I get in? I can't get in over there. Here we go. Let's not attract those zombies. There is no need for that. Claim the outpost. Our new outpost is ready for action. Oh, and that and means I can see the potential for instantly drop things in here. If you had to put together an anti-dream team, who would you bring, Jake? Think of it like the bad friends guys. Well, uh, Baron would be on the team, obviously. Um, uh, I'd be tempted to put Bane on the team. He has a certain way with this kind of game. I put fan of gaming in. I bet fan of gaming is really bloody terrible at this game. We could find some use for that, maybe. My bad gamer sense is tingling in that regard. Don't know who'd get the last slot, though. Alright, that's good enough. And with this, our base now gains one med per day. It sadly still loses two from the infirmary, but that's okay. I really need food, though. Dang, where can I get a food outpost? I don't know this map at all, so it's hard for me to say. But if I clear out some plague hearts, especially, I imagine, up here, there'll be a lot of places here that could give us the goods. Yeah, swine and bovine. But I need to take out three plague hearts for that. Okay, getting goods might be a little difficult here. Alright, we'll go, go and help them first. Gotta remember, I got work to do here. Gigi Hon Hon would almost certainly be bad at this. I don't know, it feels bad to point fingers at people and go, I bet you're bad, you'd be on the bad team. Why couldn't you ask me a more positive question? Like, who would be on my dream team for this game? It would be myself, a second copy of myself, Dark Young, and a third copy of myself. And I'd need another copy to watch and narrate the run. Oh, hang on, I saw some goodies there. Oh, but there are also zombies here. Get off! Doesn't look like much, but the bridge is sturdy. Okay, well, how about all these zombies? Are they sturdy? Thankfully, this doesn't seem to be Blood Plague Zone, so I should be able to take them down without worrying about... Uh, Blood Zombambos pouring in from all ends. Also, where's your friend at? Oh, there you are. What are you even doing? She hurt her ankle. I hope you didn't hurt your swinging arm. Also, although I said I'm taking you to your base, what I'm actually doing is... Oh, I want your meds, but I don't want them so much I'm going to pay for them. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is take her to my death zone up north so she can give me cover if needed. Baron, but he's only allowed to drive. <laughs> no. <laughs> Driving is the ultimate way to get your friends killed, because if you mow down a bloater, or even worse, a blood bloater, they're very dead. 
Tartan Mart there could have some food for me. That's actually a worthwhile thing. Oh, oh, I can take over that Tartan Mart because it's not in Blood Plague territory. That's worth it for the food because food outpost, uh, food output of outposts on lethal mode is doubled. So give me that Tartan Mart. Seems a bit uh, racially insensitive, but... Well, no buts. Oh, nice thing they improved. The zombies actually spawn in the buildings before you enter them. It was such a, such a nasty thing in the game that it would spawn monsters after you enter. Because you could scout an area, see that it's clear, and then it just goes, Ah, psych, there are zombies everywhere. Right, we need this. Claim, claim, claim. There we go. We're all set here on the new outpost. We certainly are. And I can already see the potential for improving this place. Hmm, maybe not yet. I'd rather get more outposts before I think about improving ones that we have. Can I check everything in here? I think so. Let's check out the back. Oh, I already regret checking out the back. It's alright though. Ferrarzia can dispatch with anything around here, surely? The zombies which run up from behind you can tackle you to the ground and bite you. Usually gives you an infected bite, and if they're a plague carrier, an enormous amount of plague. Never get caught from behind. There we go. And I'm here to trade the whiskey and the backpack, and I'll grab other things to trade with you whilst you're here. Having followers from a place that you trade with is really quite handy, because you can bring them back to one of your outposts, load up on stuff that you want to sell, like the dental floss and the tampons. Stitch the rest of this stuff and sell away. Actually, do I have anything else that I would really like to sell while I'm at it? I'll sell some snacks. I always have too many snacks in this game. I seldom use them. Chemicals are good for selling, but they're also good for making explosives. Do you have anything to swap for? All right. Ooh, dental floss is worth a whole lot. Wonderful. Still not willing to buy your meds. I'm sure I'll be able to find some. Let's keep the uh, influence for now. How much influence do we have? 1486. And I will want more. Oh, also, I'm not risking Boomer's life unnecessarily here. Chug your meds. Actually, put on a bandage. You know what? I didn't even scout up there, did I? I just searched and ran. Well, I won't be checking anything for you, Lily, because I just heard a plague feral. I hope Ferrazia will be fine down there dealing with it with her one crappy melee weapon. What else is there up here? That'll run, I bet. Ramesses isn't a bad vehicle. Maybe not my first choice Bloater though. Over there. Bloater and feral <laughs> in very close proximity. Come on, where's the last thing I need to check? That should do it for now. There we go. Groovy. Now I'm heading up to uh, Trader Friend in Need Mission. That's you. Oh jeez, what, what direction am I going to be going out here? Uh, follow the road to the east and then take the first right. East, then first right. Of course, first I need to get to my van. And there is a feral there. It's okay, though. You! Don't you dare! East, east, east. Which way is east? Get in the freaking van! Oh, this thing's got the turning arc of an R-wing. Oh, I thought those were road spikes there. That threw me for one. AIs are quite nice in that they will open the door to tonk zombies for you as well. So, end of the road, first right. Is this the end of the road? Nope, this is the end of the road. Um, just any right into here should do. Oh dear, oh dear, you don't do what you're planning on doing. Look, I've got your friend here. Quit moaning. We really need to speed up. Yeah, 
yeah, it'll be fine. Hello. All right. So as long as we trade with these guys, it's mission accomplished. I'd like to make a trade. Why not? Oh, materials. Oh, plenty of materials. Oh, heavy weapons, sledgehammer. We've made good partners. Man, I want I everything you have. Give me those Molotovs. Ah, oh, signal antenna. Yeah, give me signal antenna. Give me that sledgehammer. There we go. Oh, by the way, I brought a lot of zombies for you. Hope you don't mind. At least now, at least I can see what you guys are made of. Need a place to stand whilst I figure out what my missions are. Wait, where do I even check missions again? How did I manage to forget this? That's a screamer. Mission, derelict souls, no escape. And return this person to their base. Okay, the streamer the screamer is one thing I will help out with. Uh, and fail to do so. There we go. Calass act by me. Uh, whoa now. Oh jeez, right. There you go. Putting these to immediate use. Uh oh. The person I'm meant to be rescuing is dying. I will slowly save you. And by save you, I mean uh, I'm out of here. Get off of my truck. Now I need to return with uh, Ferrazia back to our old base. Wait, which way is which way am I even going for that? Well, this is south, which sounds about right. All right, first right, and we're good. Oh my days! Not knowing the map actually really hurts a lot more than I. Oh jeez. Huh. Well, fortunately, she will just run through the zombies to get back to me as I try to puzzle a new way over. Ah, pretty much the way I came should work. Oh no. Come on. Put those horses down. I worry if she's over there tangling with those zombies. Get in here. She is almost dead. She probably has about three hit points or so. But I said I'd bring her back to her base. I didn't say that I'd be healing her up. Mostly because you, you can't heal up AIs. They'll just do their own thing. Oh, you dropped a plague sample, but I'm not slowing down for that. I want the missions done. Plenty of influence to be gained from them. And becoming friendly with an enclave. There we go. Becoming friendly with an enclave is really good. That's pretty impressive. You can't normally hit ferals just by driving along the road, but sometimes you can get a lucky lucky shot in. It helps that this thing is so wide. Oh, this map is all sorts of tangled. Not a lot of good driving lines, so it's probably going to be very important where you set up your base. And I want to move my base away from here as soon as possible. Which means recruiting. <laughs> to recruit people I need to get friendly with the... Uh, with the exclaves. Alright, how many more zombies can I bring back to your base? I wanted to buy more materials from those other guys, but I didn't. Actually, it would be the same. You're dying here, and you would have died. Yeah, you would have died there. Good to see you alive, buddy. Come in. So, what do these people do you for me? Swap for? Might as well. I'm not selling them my stuff, but um, when you get friendly with an enclave, they will give you some kind of bonus. And for these people, they give us rooftop sniper, which is awful. I don't want that. But I also don't want to recruit from them because these two people are going to die very soon. Unless they have some amazing ability. Painting is not amazing. And nothing nothing is alright, but 
I suspect both of these people are on their last legs, so I'll just leave them be. I, on the other hand, I've gotten myself that good gun, a package of duct tape, a signal antenna, which is a really good find, and on top of that, Voomer has gotten halfway towards being a hero, which will give us extra food per day, which we need. So what do we do from here? I don't really care about the ambient goal. I care about a new base, <clears throat> which means... Where are we going to be setting up? Where did we say we would? The Red Talon Daybreak FOB. Sounds like a pretty good place to set up next, since there's all this space to loot around it. But that means I'm going to have to clear these plague hearts. It's that plague heart, and there's another plague heart up there. So I'm going to switch Voomer with somebody else, and that somebody else is going to be on plague heart mincing duty. Jake, do they heal up if you ignore them for long enough? I have not noticed that happening. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Bloater right there is a huge liability. I hate where this base is so much. Oh, there's another one right there! We're out of storage uh, space for materials, which is good news. Means we can put it to use immediately, and I want a workshop so that I can fix that big gun we found. The the golden deagle or whatnot. Yep, Calden saying that doesn't really help the situation. Well, finders keepers, so I'm gonna let you keep that. And you're gonna check in for a wee bit of R and R. Whilst uh let's see. You've still got Burning Lungs IFT, so you're not the best to be choosing. So I'll take control of Kaladin. And I'm also going to... Hmm, I'm going to upgrade the infirmary so that it can actually heal the Burning Lungs and such. Which means that you're not actually going to be uh, healing up for a wee while. Low food, low food, low food. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We need more food. Ooh, that is pretty good. Hey neighbors, I'm wondering if we could borrow some labor for a bit. And it means I can explore down oh, south for a change. I said I was on uh, Plague Heart splitting business here, but this might be for the better. Feels a bit of a shame to take this AK with me, but it would feel that more of a shame to just die. So let's make sure it is cock locked this is my and ready to day. rock. Could be a problem later. Also, as for your weapon, do you really want to be rolling around with a pipe here? Carpenter's hatchet might be better in every conceivable way. <laughs> uh, Boomer is working on some upgrades and has been nailing her own thumb accidentally. Oh boy, you! No thank you, I do not like zombies just coming wandering into my base here. Aladdin's got a lot of leveling up to do. They're all bloody miserable as usual because there's no food. So let's hope that there's food down south. Let's go and deal with them. Oh, right. Fuel. Fuel is mondo important. I think I'll use the one I have in the trunk right now because there's a good chance we'll find plenty of it when we're scouting about. Beating a guy with their arms. He can spit on you and that spit is so deadly it killed John in one hit back in Darkseid. Granted, that was dark side, but come on, John is an action hero and he still took him out. That blind bit there is just so horrible. Okay, let's travel to sad little warehouse. Unfortunately, the survivors out here, they love to set up shop inside plague territory, so you often have to brave going through that if you want to visit them, and you do want to visit them. Thread that needle. Okay, we got a fuel shop there, but fuel's not what we're after. Uh, what I'm really after is a place to scout from, and there's one right there. It looks like a pathetic scouting point, but I'll take it. 
But first, let's see what these people want. Great nation. We're building a clinic. Supply of meds. Our people can't get to them. Alright, I guess I'll take care of that. Unfortunately, there are three of you. You got any trading to do? Uh, you know what, these zombies are your problem, not mine. Aladdin knackered after running over practically nothing. Yeah, that might be a problem. For other people. <laughs> those, those medical people get plenty... Oh, right, 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 right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just not have any more of that. So apparently this is a good enough sighting spot to see everything. Hold on, a taxi? I don't think I've ever seen a taxi in this game. Okay, plague hard in sight. Yeah. Well, I do need to break those open no matter how you look at it. Maybe I should be crouching here. We need an outpost at that place ASAP. That's enough for now. Okay, that is enough for now. This place is chock full of places to explore. But the the, the bottom part here is chock full of zombies. So I need to think about what I'm doing here. Swine and bovine could have some food, which I'm desperate for. But, uh, ooh. there's either there's even another play cart that I'm not uh, seeing. And there's the place. They want me to get a rucksack of meds from there. An easy task, for sure. But remember, I have some side goals here, like getting some poor food for my poor survivors. Let's see, I took care of the, uh, the screamer, so there's really very little problem here. Ladders can be quite difficult in this game. You can find yourself just running off instead of uh, climbing down them. Oh, hello. Okay, that's a few of them. It's alright. Generally, though, you just keep running away, you'll be fine. As long as you don't just run face first into another horde. Ah. Franked. There we go. Managing the small numbers of them, easy peasy. And now I'm free to loot the swine and bovine and hopefully find some food. Shove that in the truck, and then I need to go and get those meds for these guys. Incidentally, I could just give them a rucksack of meds from anywhere else. And if there is somewhere nearby that has medicine, then lucky me. But nowhere here has guaranteed medicine, or even suggested medicine. So I'll go to the place the mission goes. These missions always spawn rucksacks for you, though. At this point, though, anything I find is welcome. So we go around here. Aha. Aha. It's okay. Just one last thing to search. Hold on, we haven't found any food in here. Oh, there's the food. Thank goodness. Now, don't mind me, zombies. I got places to be. Helping out these guys who are trying to set up a clinic is a huge boon if you get it done. I'll keep hold of the firecrackers. Could save me in a pinch. But as for now, let's head down over there and get our goodies. My toes while I'm in plague territory. I can't be the only one hearing DJ Atomica in, uh, in that voice. Ooh, Tartan Mart. Tartan Mart is food. Ah, but it's empty. It shows up black on the minimap, meaning it is useless. Boy, this place is rich with resources. Someone better be listening, because I'm in deep shit 
out here. That, that sounds like a you problem, Tressy. And explicitly not a me problem. I could be creating a me problem here. Let's try and not be followed. Well, damn. Oh, double damn. Oh, jeez. If you press E on a zombie that you're actually not able to uh, to grab, you stun yourself. And that's as bad as it sounds. And he took the liberty of just munching on me, which gave me a massive amount of virus. This is a, this is a bad thing to be doing. And it's going to get worse before it gets better. All right. This better be good. Gimme, 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 gimme. That's not it. Gimme. That's it. I know you got a stitch there, Kaladin, but you got to move. Yeah. Get in and get driving. Off you trot. Round we go, go. And we are out of here. Oh, oh, we're out of here, all right. Get off. Yeah, they took out one of my doors. Still, better than taking out a door. Better to take out a door than take out the Kaladin. All right, so that was just cascading badness right there. Make one mistake, and you will be richly rewarded with several more. Good to see you. Come in. There we go. Risk life and limb for this. Where are you? Glad you showed up when you did. If your people need anything, medicine, treatment, just let us know. How about some free stuff? God, they are ill-equipped here. They're fighting with the uh, screwdrivers. Okay. Right, while I'm down here, it would be a good idea to grab other things. It's also a good idea not to do that kind of thinking out in the open. Uh, I did grab one sack of food, but one sack of food is only one sack of food. Bullets won't help me where I'm going. Who even need in the base? Construction materials, food, and meds. Uh, wish I hadn't given them their meds now. I need meds. I could risk it by going further into here. I could even help you. Sounds like somebody's in trouble. Uh, I am known for helping people who are in trouble. Back the way I came, end of the road, turn left. Oh, but you are so close to being vitally... Ah, uh, whatever. I'm not so worried about lo losing Kaladin. I'm worried about losing Kaladin's gun. It's a good gun. It's even some people's favorite gun. Scope on the thing and ah... You just calm yourself. Alright, so you turn end of the road to turn left. Zombie killing door is still active. You'd think it would be easy to remember these kinds of directions, but my head just becomes like scrambled eggs when I have to put it to the test. Alright, now fire stations tend to have goodies galore, so I'm actually going to bring this thing all the way in. Hopefully I don't regret this. I already regret this, it's going to be hard to back you out from here, especially if I'm under siege from zombies. So what's your problem? You've got your own gun, which is a good start. AIs are good with any gun you give them, really. Hey there, I'm Better with Thanks automatics, though. I got in here by some Zeds. I didn't feel safe on my own. You're probably a storyline character, so I inherently don't care about you. I am, however, aware that I can find fuel and meds here, so don't mind me as I pillage for meds first. I need help clearing out some Zeds before I could scavenge. You up for it? Why should I help you? Actually, you got anything first? Sure. You tempt me greatly, but I'll pass. I need help clearing out some Zeds before I could scan. Marshall's a scary place. 
It's always nice to have friends around here. And if what I'm working on pans out, well, I'll be a good friend to have. I'd rather just kill you for your... Ooh, is that a sword? So, you up for helping me out? Yeah, why not? Good. That's good. You're in charge. Accompany her to some odious house. Tell me these aren't infestations. Yeah, well. First things first, this place seems generously clear, and I can't guarantee it'll stay clear. So let's grab what we can while we can. Snacks are such a waste of finding something. I almost feel like I'd rather find nothing than snacks. Not even sure if you can turn snacks into real food. Ah, now we're talking some actual meds for the base. I have been needing that for a long time. And I would benefit from slamming that straight into... Well, actually, let's grab what else is in here. Crowbar. But we're not playing Gordon Freeman mode. Okay, here they come. Making a lot of noise, but this is going to be my friend's problem. Oh, and there's the fuel. A whole sack of jerry cans. Oh, thanks for taking the zombie for me. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Went towards it like a black hole. Alright, let, let's not be too cocky here, right? Let's dispatch of our problems as they arrive. Loot the rest of this place and skedaddle. Better keep looking. Oh, now that's good. Tell you what, I can immediately... Oh, damn, I can't trade with her anymore. I wanted to immediately shunt what I found over to her. I think it was a pack of chewing tobacco or something. A bag of chew. I'm missing a couple of loot places, and I don't know where they are. Ah, well, here's one of them. A Halligan tool. Is that the one you use for breaking into cars in a rescue operation? Okay, what have I not? Ah, you. You're the last one. This place is empty. Better move on. I gotta say, that was a great haul. Fuel situation. Might as well keep it topped up. I want to upgrade this van. The upgraded van is one of the best vehicles in the game. Oh, and you're upgraded, so now Boomer can get checked really out. Are. What am I doing here? These toolkits weigh a load, so i ditch them in there so they actually stack. Alright, let's get going, Lassie. We're going to... Oh, the tavern has food. I want that food. Well, I want lots of things to be told, to be true. Truth be told. Alright, let's keep our van somewhere easy that we can get to. And if you'd be so kind as to... Oh. Uh, to run away? Okay. Uh-oh, there's a horde nearby. Get your... Ah, oh, shoot! Well, that horde's just become our problem. Alright, tell you what, I'm eating those snacks for once. The AI is really terrible at taking out armored zombies. So I'll do do them a solid by taking them out myself. And you know what? Seems like what's her face is uh probably gonna die over there. I wonder if she can die. Maybe she's like an invincible story uh, character. I have a funny feeling though that it's not that kind of game. 
Last save. We should not be there. <laughs> Thought I was being clever. Saw the big horde of zombies and so I was like, I know, I'll go into the building. Evade them here. Building also had zombies. Jeez, this place is so overgrown, it's hard to find anywhere to, to move. So my grand plan here is to circle around, if I can find a moment to snap back around. And then take it uh, without the zombies immediately knowing that I'm there. I think there are characters that can't die. The only one I know of is... Um, oh, who's that guy that offers all the bounties? Big fat guy with the with, uh, big old hat. There are so many places to be looking around for stuff, but now is not the time. Well, she's still working hard over there, so fair play to her. But whilst she's distracting everything, couldn't help but notice that's my prime time to go into this place that apparently has meds in it, and no zombies inside it either. Oh, it's a pet store. Well, pet drugs are probably at least marginally useful for humans. Sweet. And every moment that she's still pulling her trigger is a moment that I know she's alive and dispatching other zombies. This mission is hard, says Paranoia. Yeah, but so is Paranoia. Boy, I could do with some actual medicine for myself here. That bite earlier was nasty. I want to get Kaladin back to base, but Kaladin is busy. Shanks, she just keeps firing. Now that's killer teamwork. Oh, okay, well. I just need a second to look around for something. Um, is you now really the time? Useful. Yeah, this all smells of story to me. Although I'm curious if you dispatched any zombies that dropped plague samples. Marshall, there's something you need to see. Do I, though? I mean, I'm so, so uninterested in all the story stuff this game has to offer. Just want to play a sandbox. Oh, but I'm interested in a katana machete. No way I can fit this. Oh, we'll find a way. Drop that kind of useless looking bag of snacks. And equip that. Oh, you're missing out here, Tressy. Oh, she's using... what's that, an SMG vector? I don't know my guns, but I, I swear it's a vector of sorts. Come on, quit playing with your food. Just inviting trouble for us, I see. Put that machete to use. Alright. Want to know why the military was down here in such force? Come with me and I'll show you. Um... Let's tackle. I don't really want to, but I want to sell you my DVD collection and my bag of chew and this useless envelope I found and maybe even that bag of snacks that I dropped just to save myself a bit of space. You know what, I'll add you as a follower and just drag you back with me for a while. Want to know why the military was down here in such force? Come with me and I'll show you. Got anything useful you're looking to unload? Sure. Let's get rid of the... Uh... Hmm, use a little food for morale? No, just gonna sell that for freebies. Wanna know why the military was down here in such- I'll mark the location on your map. It's not far. It really isn't far. I need to go back to base, Lassie. I got too many goods that my people need. Oh, Horde is still there, I couldn't help but notice. She did really well for herself. Maybe she is unkillable. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that one's a little too close for comfort. So is that one, and I don't have a silent weapon on me. Are you still willing to trade with me? No, no, you're not. In that case, let's keep this thing full, and we return to base on the double. Although, I don't want to sound too greedy, but I do want the food from this tavern. This place creeps me out. Well, too bad. I need food. Only four places to search, so it should be easy to find. Just get the food and get out, I think. 
What draws you to state of decay over the hordes of other zombie survival games, Jake? Well, Tassadern, why don't you name some of them? I'll help you out. Project Zomboid. Early access. State of Decay 1. Rough around the edge isn't too story focused. I suppose we can do something with this. Seven days to... Is that the one Baron was playing? I mean, it looks like Fort Zombie levels of polish. I already played that Daylight game and it just was not clicking for me. Didn't feel very horrorful. <laughs> Day Z. I've played plenty of Day Z. Yeah, Seven Days to Die does look There's like ass and chips. I don't see what Baron sees in it. Maybe he's somehow really good at it and he thought, well, I can't let this opportunity pass me by. I'll play it forever. And then he played it forever. No more plague samples around here, but I gotta say, Kaladin has made a great haul and has done even better to actually stay alive during it all. So. Take a U-turn. Let's head home. For the zombies catch up to us, please. Oh, that's a feral. Well, let's leave that feral be. I would have thought for sure they'd fix the whole vans and vehicles flickering in and out of existence by now, but nope. Oh dear. Big horde, not a lot of room to maneuver. Oh, the roads in general are ass and chips. Yeah, Sod 2 definitely has a lot of polish put in, and I believe that's polish that's been put in through a lot of post-release support, because I was told this game was really bad when it first came out. Doesn't matter though, I didn't play it then. Let all the beta testers go through the roughness for me. Oh my god, this map is so bad for driving in. Or maybe it's just this part of the map. Easy. Easy does it. Again, you can't just mow through the zombies. They will chew through your vehicle in a heartbeat. Hey, my old friends are over there. Please, no bloater here. Oh, that's bad. That was bad. Speaking of bad, jeez, what is with this game and its uh, vehicles? I might relaunch the game just to get around that. Oh, but it'll cancel this mission, won't it? I call that a successful run. Very successful. Tons of goodies. Tons of everything. Even got the meds, the food. People should stop being worrying about all that. Nice. But you, sir are taking a nap. And who's going to follow up here? Hey, your burning lungs have cleared up IFT, so out you go. <laughs> he still feels the pain. All right. Tricky, let's go. Be taking that with me. I will be taking this one and about 25 rounds, and just in case things get a little grim, I'm actually going to be locked and loaded with yeah, one, one Molotov. I don't know what this mission entails, but I guess we're about to find out as we have to go back down south. Oh, by the way, is there room for the mod on this yet? No, and I need quite a bit more to, to get it fixed up. Could install a heavy duty ammo press to make 40 mil grenades and 50 cal rounds, neither of which appeal. Yeah, the, the mods I have are sadly not up to scratch right now. But let's go. Hopefully, the van can maintain its grip on reality long enough for us to get down there. Funny, the issue seems worse, and I could have sworn it was on the notes as something that was supposedly being fixed. Oh, hello, buggernaut. Careful, I 
see one of the big ones. Couldn't help but notice it's right next to the incredibly cursed survivor enclave. Jeez, this is such a bad route. Could we not take any other route? Actually, this is me taking any other route. And it's even worse. <laughs> Can't make up how bad this is. And it doesn't help that I'm using the least maneuverable vehicle to do this with. Ooh, the taxi. Ooh, I want to check taxi. Cover my back. It has a single smoke grenade in it. Good enough. I don't even know if zombies are affected by the... Are you going to get in? That's my best way. Can I cut across? No guarantee I can cut across. Let's just drive along and then take the first main right. It was cursed by having a gun that I wanted, true. Look, if they had just survived, I wouldn't have taken the gun off of them. I wasn't going to betray the Enclave just to take the gun. But they couldn't stand up to a horde. I wasn't about to subsidize them for their pathetic efforts. Subsidize them with living. Come to think of it, I didn't really restart the game after everything. Maybe the game is just in dire need of being restarted. But I can do that after I deal with uh, Alamo Barbecue and Burrito Hedicia. Ooh, that is not a needle to be threaded. I'm gonna show you something called a plague wall. Plague wall? Hold on, a plague wall? That sounds dangerous. Relax, it's totally inert. Completely safe. Got it. <laughs> We're just gonna buy that? I'm not buying that. Alright, let's leave the truck somewhere we can use it. Clear the immediate vicinity. Ah, oh, or just have them scream so every zombie is gonna be coming along. Thankfully, she toggled the uh, the auto on that. Oh, is that a plague wall? Not really sure. It's natural. Also, there's a there's a horde right there. Could we not do this? Did she just teleport on me? Oh, I can't I can't clear that. Why the flickering? I don't know the. The game just doesn't like to render vehicles very well. It also doesn't. Oh no, you're dying! I bet I could headshot that bloater. What bloater? Also, what's in this horde? Just zombies, apparently. And I do not want that bloater shot because it'll explode and alert everybody to our presence. Oh jeez! Hey, you get. Oh no. Oh! Damn. Ah, oh, double damn. Ah, oh, well. None of that worked. How do I even get in here? Well, my friend has attracted the horde, if nothing else. Ah. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> problems for getting more problems. Let's just get in and see what's what it's all about. You give me your your lesson while you're fighting off all the zombies, okay? I can't even hear her here. Okay, well, at least I found some suspicious-looking food next to the plague wall. So she just wanted to show me that and nothing else, whilst getting us all into a whole load of zombie trouble. Okay, right, well, as long as she's dealing with the zombies, me, I don't want to. I just want to steal what there is.
starting to think she is unkillable, though. Seems a bit against the spirit of the game to add in unkillable characters, but I suppose if you kill off story characters... Oh, oh, I think she's... I think she's dying. <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Do not tell them I'm here. Do not leave them here, please. Ah. All right. All right, hold still. Oh, jeez, I didn't even take out most of them. As long as that plague heart is around, we can't really secure this place. Oh, no wonder I'm knackered. I'm carrying this whole case of honey on me. High ground for me. She feel like shooting them or just getting in everyone's way here? It is knackering to be fighting with a rucksack on, sadly, but I do actually want to finish out looting this little uh, little outpost here, so I'm waiting for her to pull that trigger. There we go. Safe as houses. I got a feeling you and me can do business. Sure. Uh, I hate tubes of fireworks, and I don't actually like smoke grenades. But otherwise, yeah, I'll take you home. For all I know, she has some uh, some things she wants to reward me with. Hmm. Actually, you came out of that with no injuries. You took a bit of damage, but damage is not the same as injuries. Oh, wow, that was a bust. There was almost nothing here of value. Is that her home? It's, it's really close by. I could have just sauntered over here, no harm, no fuss. Not liking what's happening to my vehicle, though. It is smoking. Oh, did I find that here? I think I did. Some people might like the Echo thingamajigger. I am not one of those people. Quite fond of the ultra lightweight axe, though. Rise of Industry had a performance death for us, Rosa. It could not be called playable after a while. I'm going to try and fix it, but let's just say the game is shelled for a little while. And this is like the junk food to clear the palette after all that. Right, don't like you there. You noticed, but you didn't seem to care. It's like when you kill an NPC and or you kill an enemy guard in Perfect Dark. The other guy comes running over and he says, ah, "I didn't like him anyway." Oh, I don't like you. Right, there we go. Headshot means he didn't pop. He'll pop after a while, but that'll give me time to get you back to your home. I, I would like you to give me a present. Not as bad as it used to be. And if you're looking to scavenge, it has plenty to offer. I'm curious. What keeps you in Marshall? I'm studying the ruins left by the destroyed plague walls. They have some intriguing properties, even though they're not biologically active, technically speaking. At the moment, I only have some theories, but if they pan out, it could be a real breakthrough. If I need a helping hand, I'll give you a call. It's always nice to have a friend watching your back out here. 
Couldn't help but notice your home is a plague heart. You take care of yourself. Don't let the Zeds get you. Is this actually your home? Because if it is, I want you to kill this plague heart for me. Or is she just gonna run off and not be? Jeez, you really are something, aren't you? Uh, well, it's a little bit risky. But why don't I grab my heavy hitter and go to town in that plague heart? Because it's a stupid idea, that's why. Yeah, there's, there's no reason to risk ourselves for this plague heart here. There are better plague hearts to be targeting. The ones up north so that I can get myself into the Red Town Daybreak FOB and secure the north. Still, whilst I am here, we still do want materials. Do any of these places look like they've got materials for me? Uh, we've got potential materials right there. That is worth a gander. I got space for stuff. Come on, Jake, we've all had pest problems in our houses. <laughs> you wake up and find a plague heart in the attic. You go, well, I'll call the fumigator on Friday. I don't trust um, screamers at a distance. They come sauntering over, and they're surprisingly quiet when they're not screaming, so they can really catch you off guard. And by you, I mean me. They catch me off guard. Uh, no, I'm running with no mods for once. Chat is always right. Normally I run with Darkseid to make the game harder, but Darkseid has not been updated for the latest version. <laughs> hate finding a plague heart on the weekend. Pest guy doesn't work weekends. <laughs> yeah, then you start have to hammering it yourself with whatever's nearby. Then it calls in all the neighbors fresh from the jam factory. Anyway, I got those materials that I was after. The question is what I want to do with those materials. And hey, look, it is your home! Oh, uh, oh, oh dear. Right, um. Hop. It is actually her home there. I can't believe it. Well, I, I can. I see it and I believe it. But I am surprised. Anyone see that? I think Kaladin just got us a special delivery of something, but I didn't see what. Alright, let's get out of here. Not a big fan of this place. <laughs> that makes it much better, just living next door to the play cart. Oh, that was a terrible miss. As opposed to all those great misses you get. I wouldn't normally be shooting all the zombies that I see. I'd normally stealthily take them out or melee them or something, but I am somewhat hopeful to find a few... Oh, dear. A few plague samples as I go along, because being able to grab a few... A few plague cures along the way could really help. Oh, I want the Wandering Trader. Where is it? Up north. Good enough. So where am I going? North, first left, end of the road, turn right and left, and we're good. Wandering traders could have damn near anything, and I am short on useful things. Let's just not get this van blown up. Oh, bye-bye door. So zombie tonking door is gone. I need to be very careful with this van now. I think they remixed some of the tracks for this update. Is this my right turn? Oh, it's my right turn, because I just took it. Yeah, good enough. We'll stop by home, I'll switch out for a Boomer, and then Boomer can take over. It's so hard to maneuver in this game, I feel like my run's going a lot slower than it normally would. Fine by me, though. I'm going to relaunch the game once we get back to base. Maybe it's, uh... Oh! <laughs> Hi, Duffman! Hi, Duffman! So eager to move base. It's a shame the game has the minimum survivors required to move base requirement. 
All right. Everything is going in. Even the crossbow. Looking good, my friend. Galadin's uh, coming on to you, IFT. Make sure you're armed for such an occasion. Ooh, ooh, don't really have guns for you, do I? I know, speak to Voomer. Voomer's got something for you. I'm sure Voomer would be only too happy to cough up that gun. Zombies at the front door, so let's fix this weapon. Hold C to repair. Wow, costs almost everything to repair it. But now you've got a pretty swell weapon for it. And now we are the one with the big uh, Kaladin. You've got a scar, put it to use. IFT, you've got a deagle, put it to use. Oh wow. Tore you apart. Nice. So only three of us, but actually having some good weapons can really help cleave apart any errant horde that tries to slip its way in. Yeah, both of you go get checked out for now. We'll have, um... Well, we'll just have Voomer do everything, I suppose. I want that gun fully stocked. And do I even want this gun to begin with? Wouldn't I rather go up there all stealthy-like with a crossbow? Nah... If I get hit by a feral, I want this to take care of it. So, what am I doing? I'm gonna stop- oh my god, the traitor's right by an infestation. Okay, change of plan, I am going stealthy. No gun, just light crossbow, maximum amount of bolts. Do I want some firecrackers? What am I gonna be doing up there? The house hunters, friendly guys. It's useful if they stay alive. Lonely soldier, ex-military. Must be one of these uh, these added things. Juggernaut is still there. Woe is me. So what am I going to do? I might go and see if any of these guys want to... Oh! They want food? I'm not loaded on food, but I will give them food. Can I grab food up there? Yeah, yeah, in fact, they've got a hot dog stand right next to them. I can deliver that food easy. So, I'm going to hit up Wandering Trader. I'm going to go and get them their food. And then, I swear there was something else I want to do up here. Oh yeah, mash some plague hearts. Mashing plague hearts will necessitate this weapon to be in uh, full working order. So, let's keep it fully repaired. And it could get dangerous up there. Really dangerous, especially since nighttime is coming. So I'm going to give you a couple of grenades to throw at it. Also, you've got a crummy backpack, but plague hearts usually have nice backpacks inside. Get to the trader before restarting the game. Yeah, I'm not going to restart the game just yet now, although I am going to repair and refuel the big van. Really cleared infestation to me. Yeah, I agree with that. I might take a single firecracker to throw at the trader in the hopes that it attracts attention to them enough to kill them. Where's the other stuff? Where's my fuel? I want one bit of fuel and one bit of toolkit. Way too noisy. Let's keep this thing fixed up. I especially want my doors back. Stuff to sell. Good call, young. That was also what I was thinking of doing and promptly forgot. How are we even feeding the fuel? Oh, there's the there's the little fuel cap. I got better. Eat the alternative. Oh nice, Caledon's feeling good already. We can sell a backpack, a backpack, and a bloody... well I'll keep the bloody note because that's something that's related to story stuff. Uh, I guess I don't need these okay. motorized targets. I don't like selling Most chemicals so early. Focus on big items. We stock up on small comforts. They'll add up when we need to trade. Sell screwdrivers. Okay, you've got a good mission for us there, Kaladin, but uh, that mission will be there at a later date, so it's okay. Unfortunately, night is coming, and I really think that night eclipses the day in this game. Sure does in Darkseid. Voomer ran the numbers, as I recall. What was it, like 
60 minutes of dark and 30 minutes of light. Whatever the case, it wasn't a great trade. Also, tonk. Tonk to the screamer. Uh, so, there's a lot of reasons I don't like this encounter. But there are a few reasons to like it. Oh my god, you're actually just in there. How about you deal with that and I'll be out here. Most wandering traders are armed to the teeth. So you can usually just leave it to them. But if there's a screamer in there that really gets going, then that's not going to be good for either of us. What's going on here? Oh, are these? T oh, the, the the infestation is inside the um, the little shacky thing next door. You are here. This is good. It means I can trade with you. How's it going? I'm looking to trade. Sure. What do you have? Oh God, you've got a repeating crossbow. Oh, jeez. Take this stuff off of me, and uh, uh, ooh. Advanced Biochem Station sounds nice. The Echo Wrath is amazing. The Echo Mamba is amazing. And I want that Mamba. But I really want that repeating crossbow. It's so good. I can't say no to it. I need to have it. And I'm certainly taking all of your light bolts. Well, that was expensive, but probably worthwhile. And I'm even going to unload this and sell you back this light crossbow. Just to make back some of what I spent there. It's so hard to say no to the Echo Mamba. But it's not really what I need for dispatching the play cards. It's just good in general. Oh, that is good by all my influence. Hell yeah. Screw it. I'm taking it. Too good to pass up. Oh, and one last... Oh, uh, whilst I'm in this house, I could scavenge it and sell you anything I find. Yeah, buying bolts on the super cheap is great. I'll do it quietly for now. I want to throw... Oh! A foul! As in a fin foul. Gimme, gimme, gimme. This is good. God, Foomer finds all the good stuff. She had even more bolts? Okay, well. Have to be grabbing those as well, then. A little bit helps. It does. Have you got anything to trade? Why not? Ah, uh, they're big bolts. I don't really like big bolts. But it only costs 20, so it's hard to say no to. I'm full of stuff already. I need to visit the van. Not gonna fit. Yeah, Voomer is notably slow on uh, searching. Is that because you have low wits? Oh yeah, Voomer doesn't even know what wits are. She does know what gardening is, at least. For all the good that is, which is to say not much at all. Right, so I want to do as much selling to that trader as I can before I make every attempt to kill her. Can't afford to be noticed by the Zombambos right now, so let's just be super sneaky-like. If you manage to stealth kill without them noticing you, you will not make any noise at all. Take care of the ones around the van so that I can deposit things into my van. I'll leave Jam Jam Boy there. <laughs> Jam Boy. What am I leaving in here? Bolts, even though they're good with that. The Fin Fowl. I'm going to leave the Echo Man up because I'm using the Sledgehammer for the foreseeable future. There we go. And then I still have space to loot and share. I'll throw a Firecracker in here once I'm done, and that will alert all the zombies to the trader. And the trader will either die and I'll take their stuff, or they will dispatch the zombies and I get the uh, infestation cleared for free. That kind of thing is good. But it sells for 85 Nah, it's worth keeping that, that kind of add-on for when I eventually get a garden. With your aim, the backup big bolts would be good. Yeah, because I'd maximize every shot, right? Must be what he means. My super best friend wouldn't say such horrible things. 
Tempted to sell the textbook. Oh my goodness. Game loves to spam you with events. You're trying to deal with things. It's like, oh, well, the, these survivors need these goods. There's a horde coming. Three new infestations. I would have hoped that they would calm down on that by now, but... I'm all ready for luck. Yeah, yes I am. Tell you what, though, I'll sell some of this stuff while I'm at it. Interested in trading? Sure. Ethanol. Yeah, just sell the utilities textbook. Sell the seeds. Sell the circuitry. I'm more interested in getting this place cleaned out whilst I can. Last place to search, though. I'm not gonna find anything else here. Even sell the chemicals while yeah. I'm here. Do you have anything to swap for? Might as well. Hmm. Yeah, I seldom use painkillers that much. I mean, it is only 20, isn't it? Yeah, but I never use them. I never use big bolts. Even at that price, it's uh, not a steal. So, this is where I do the really generous thing and say... Fire in the hole! Yes, I do. And then I myself just stay ah sneaky-like over here. And I suspect that all the zombies over in that infestation are going to go and meet my friend. It would be nice to have a good place to see it from, though. Ah, one thing I will do, though, is I will generously dispatch the Screamer. There's no way that tiny amount of zombies is going to kill her, though. So let's not get our hopes up for, for getting a free... Um, a free nice gun. Yeah, they call this an infestation. Bit of a... Bit of a misnomer. Getting tired. Not good. Some stamina there, Boomer. Bit of meat on the bones so you don't get tuckered out so easily. Alright. This is one of the unfortunate things about infestation. Sometimes the game says there's one zombie left, and you're like, what, what zombie? We've cleared everything, and you just can't find them. I did hear that. Oh boy, <laughs> I have a use for this trader now for sure. Oh, did I not grab this? Uh, just a bandage. How's it going? Interested in trading? Might as well. You can take the bandage off me. I'm not going to need it. Whew. Come on, this way. So now I go, okay, what zombie? Where? There used to be an issue where they spawned on the roof, but I'm not seeing a roof zombie this time. And if I just leave it, the infestation will regrow. So where is that zombie at? Threats, none, and yet it still shows up. That was a bug, but I thought they'd hotfix that bug where... Um, they still show... Ah, oh, see, it still says there's a zombie there. Honestly, God knows it could be one of the zombies that's hanging around here on the streets. Other side of the fence? I'll give it a quick gander. The real kicker is if a juggernaut strolls in. Oh, could it be that guy? It's not you. The real kicker is if a juggernaut strolls into an infestation and it will count as one of the zombies. And that is as bad as it sounds. Okay, it was that zombie over there, still somehow counting as part of the... Uh oh. Well, I'm done here. Still somehow counting. Ah, zombie threat at home is done in six minutes, but these guys want their food. Can I get them the food and get back? No, better to... Uh... Better to deal with the zombie threat at home whilst we can, especially since I got all these sweet goodies. I've got to slow down. Tonk. Uh oh, uh oh, don't like this. Ah. Getting out of there without ramming into any zombies, that's the that's the key to it. And I think I'll restart the game as soon as this uh, zombie horde at home is dealt with. And it should be easily enough dealt with. Oh man, FN foul. Let's take it. Well. Gee, difficult choices, isn't it? 
I suspect this will just be another easy horde to deal with, though. Zombies, but just stay calm, and we'll get through this. What are our friends equipped with, then? Could I reasonably give the... Bin Fal to somebody? I think Kaladin's busy using that Deagle, which is cool and all, but I bet the Fin Fal's better. Probably automatic or something. Good to see you. IFT has got the Deagle. Yeah, so here you go. Here's a Fin Fal. God, he is armed to the teeth in that case. We'll be fine. Quit your, quit your belly aching. I will, however, equip the Mamba for this. Keep this on hand. Uh, guys, where are you? You wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Gotta shut up that screamer. What screamer? Ah, I am inclined to agree, but where is it? Aha! This shit's not over yet. That was too loud. Man, I was spoilt by dark side sieges. That was where the real game was. Sadly, just got a little too real. There we go. Easily dealt with. It's over. That's a relief. The nice thing about winning those each time is you get a big boost to your standing here, and getting Boomer fully up to learn no uh, nose to tail is going to be a big boon. Right, all well and good. Uh, tell you what, I will keep the Mamba to equip somebody Let's else with it. What do you have? Oh, Katana Machete Let's is nice. Ultra Light Axe is also very nice, but equip that instead. And let's see, the durability on this thing is huge, thing so it should be fine. Right, said I'd restart, and that's exactly what I'll do, so the game saves as we go along. I'll just come out of the game entirely and start it up. I have a feeling that I've been running the game for too long, and that's making it phase everything in and out of existence. Meanwhile, Kama Yui fans are saying, damn right, you've been playing for too long. Too bad. I miss Darkseid like you wouldn't believe. Once that is updated, I will probably do another run of this on Darkseid. On one of the... I think there's only one map that I haven't streamed yet, and that's Drucker County. Drucker is horrible. Horrible, horrible map. There's very little good to say about it. It's got my favorite um, maximum tier base. The strip mall is really good, but other than that, the whole map is hell. So it's great for playing on. All right, the undying, continue on. So is this a one base only challenge or how you, there's no special challenge to this flash. I'm just coming in. I'm gonna wreck all those plague hearts and win the game. Not in one sitting, of course. I reckon this will eat into the next few wild cards. The streams that I had planned for Rise of Industry aren't going to have Rise of Industry, because I just can't keep running that game. Okay. I'd say the whole place's zombie situation is out of control, but that's just me. Oh, that was next to my outpost. I could have gone there for all my trading needs. Uh, it shouldn't be long before these guys start telling me that they want me to do stuff, but uh, in the meantime, it might not be a bad idea to go and talk to them. All this back and forth thing. Like, if you want to sit down and knuckle on with those play carts, it's a hard one. Medical advice and then take care of it. I think you get there and you find there's an infestation or something. So Boomer had better be prepared, and nothing says prepared quite like, um, uh, going with nothing, I suppose. Ooh, I've still got these grenades. I'll pass on that. All Boomer really needs is this repeating crossbow. Vroom, vroom. 
Oh, well, I guess a Molotov could help. Means going south again. I hate this road. It's so horrible. Full of choke points for bloaters to jump you. Full of necessary threading of needles. By the look of this area, there must be a plague heart nearby. I wonder if the juggernaut's still on this road. And maybe he's gone and fused with the plague heart that I just noticed over there to the west. Oh, the other guys haven't begged me for food yet. I'm a little surprised at that. Normally they're quite quick to yell at you wanting their, their stuff again. Oh, snap. Uh, I missed the turn off. Sorry, we'll take a long way around. That's my dark side map. I ended up running out of tombstone place. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no. There we go. Let's not barren the situation here. Oh, didn't mean to hit you there, bud. Sorry. This would be slightly more tolerable if I was driving a more maneuverable vehicle, but if you have the van, I recommend you use the van. The extra space is worth everything, since that's essentially what you're scavenging for. Okay, if I just follow along the road, we should be okay. But nighttime plus plague territory, nasty combination. I'm largely doing this because getting on the good side of these um, of these doctors is so good, but you got to keep them alive. They're, they're on life support for a lot of the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. God damn American grid cities. Uh-oh. Oh, bollocks. This is getting worse and worse. That's a feral, and that feral knows I'm here. Okay. It's alright. I've taken care of plenty of ferals in my time. This is just one more. Wow, that was a god awful. Mo oh, bollocks! He screamed. That'll bring more zombies in front of me. Where'd the feral go? Oh, there you are. Oh, you clever bugger. I've got no healing. And very little health, so that feral could really rip Boomer a new one very quickly. And then I'm going to remember that moment where I said, I don't need health, and left it be. But as long as that feral is there, I can't take that clinic on with impunity. Feral seems to be making noise. There it is. Come on, you know I'm here now. What the hell? Oh, well, that was clinical. Nice, 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 nice. Just need to get through this and I have all the all the arrows I need. Man. Some good shooting. I pat myself in the back too hard, but uh, blood ferals are nay fun. Still, though, it was only one blood, uh, one blood feral. Oh, jeez, it's at the end of the street. I thought that was the clinic, but no, that's an AUO sal. Yeah, damn, I got further to go then. It's alright, though. Just gotta proceed the next hundred meters ass sneaky-like. And freeze plague samples along the way. Can only be seen as a bonus. Boomer's doing surprisingly good on... Yep. That's a screamer. On keeping the bolts. Where's the screamer? It's behind me over there. Not a big deal then, for now. That's what I need to clear out over there. Now you might think, why don't you drive your truck a bit closer to it? And maybe that would have been good. 
But as I see it for now, the truck would have attracted a lot of attention. But stopping it where I did allowed me to do things on my... Oh, there we go. Do it the way I wanted it to. Whoa, what do you mean, leaving the area? That was a bit nasty. Okay, need to clear this out and we're good. But if I start attracting a lot of attention, things are going to go south real fast. So I'm making sure everything around is fairly clear. And then we can get to work here. Make sure that errant screamer is still at the other side. Got the, these, uh, these medics are maniacs moving into plague territory here. Don't look very full of zombies to me. Decidedly empty of zombies. All right. Okay, done. That should Sweet. Be Listen, I wanted you to know we appreciate everything you're doing. Now they give me medical advice. Okay, very good. Well, that works for me because all I did was poke my nose in and say nothing here, boss. So that's okay. And they will now migrate over here. Uh oh, I don't like that. Wanted to just make my way in. Ah. Right. What else were people wondering? Ah, yes. Calden wants to do his life of luxury. Yeah, Rise of Industry maxed my system. And then I handed the save over to Marvin. And it maxed Marvin's system. Shooting out a window with a crossbow makes almost no noise. Is that so? I'm still not risking it for the goods there. I'll have plenty of time to come over here and get some more stuff. But there are too many zombies nearby to make almost no zo noise. I'd rather be making no noise. Let's risk it. Way too noisy. I wanted some goodies here. If they start knocking down this door I'm gonna be... Oh, that is goody. Don't sound so sarcastic. I think they're right outside. I can find a use for this. And I got some healing for you now. This is the moments I love. Pin down, you're not exactly sure what's out there. But you know, it could be danger. Alright, I think they ambled over here, but... Oh! Do they know I'm here? I need to get back to my truck. And I finally need to go north and take care of the play carts up there. That's what I'm here to do. Okay, thankfully, they're all moseying away, including the screamer. Ah! Going right towards my truck at that. No, do not make any noise here. Nobody needs to know. Okay. Oh man, it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Where's my way out of here? Then rest. Here we go. Oh, right, now they're wanting their food. That's good. Ah, it's a bad place for my truck to be. How do I get back to my truck from here? This place is caged in. Can I jump over these? That is a no. Can I jump over you? No, can't get over barbed wire. Or can I? Yeah, there we go. 
We've all done that before, right? You find a barbed wire fence and you surf it. You shut up. Give me my bolt back. And I'm going. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm not going straight ahead. There's a bloater right there. Get him back out a bit first. Turn right to the end of the road. Go back to base. It's up to those nutters to clear out their own uh, their own base now. The medics. Oh yeah, that's a bloater. <laughs> They're so nasty. At least the red ones though are easy enough to see. That oh, I should have stopped there and checked for ammo. Regular bloaters, the non-plague kind. They don't give you plague virus, but they are very difficult to see because they're they're a washed out grey colour on a washed out grey road. Oh bollocks. Head on collision with the van into a zombie. There's so much damage on the vehicle. As was that. I can use a little help if anybody's listening. Oh, there's so little anything to move around. I gotta move base so we don't have to deal with this. But moving base will necessitate getting myself two new members. Which could be a little tricky. Not to mention I'd need to make all my influence back. All that influence I spent on getting a repeating crossbow and an Echo 2 Mamba. And I'm not recruiting from the the useless people who offer me sniper support because they're both dying. Actually, I could get one of them and just synthesize a cure. It wouldn't be that expensive. And if it would accelerate me getting a... Um, if it would accelerate me getting a new base, then it's all the better to do so. Because the bonus they provide is so useless. Alright. A good run, I dare to say. Unfortunately, it's Kaladin's time to shine. I'll give you your gun back here, and let's do it. Life of luxury. So since Kaladin's a traitor at heart, traitor with a D. You are heading down the wrong fucking path, amigo. Ooh, IFT doesn't like it. So Kaladin wants to go out and find some goods for trading. Why are you looking for trivial stuff? We need to focus on the necessities. These things give a competitive advantage in trade. Okay, we'll just make IFT very unhappy, as if there wasn't enough unhappiness in the the base right now. I'm your way. Oh, and how convenient the Life of Luxury mission is up there as well. Much as I like the scar, I don't want you dying with that scar. Generally, anybody who goes out in a mission is taking the repeating crossbow, because it's just such a good weapon to have. Dying with it and us losing the repeating crossbow would... Conversely, it'd be a massive loss. I'm also drinking my way through this fuel, just because it's so fuel inefficient to be driving around here. Hello to all my neighbors out there. This is Tressie Huerta again, down in Marshall. I've met some of you, but I know more folks are coming to Trumbull Valley every day. I didn't grow up here myself, but I've been around long enough for it to become home. And I'm amazed at how well we've bounced back from some bad times. Third right, then right at the end of the road, or second right. Second right. Oh, worst placed bloater. Not even sure I can get around you, but I can try. I need that bloater to not be there anymore, so... Get moving, get moving! Oh, damn. There we go. Get off of my... Get off of my van. Ugh, hair tastes like blood soup. That blood soup doesn't sound all that bad. I guess there's some weird people out there that aren't truly nose to tail. Wouldn't eat the blood of an animal. You won't eat our meat, but you glue with our feet. Am I going the right way here? I think I took a wrong turn somewhere, but that's alright. 
I know, I, I feel sorry for the people that don't know the, the joys of a blood pudding. Are they even really people? They're certainly pitiable people. So, well, on top of that, I might be able to find myself some... Uh, let's just break this down. Oh. Might be able to find myself some building supplies in here, although at a glance I don't think I will. I'm quite certain I've just invited a horde here, though. I can hear some distant shambling. Um, another infestation spotted. Oh, jeez, where was that? Well, hopefully it was the noise that's going to stop these hordes from coming into my little green door shed. <laughs> Don't think I can't see you there. Are they going to try and enter or not? I think they came because a bloater exploded right here and they're just circling around the area. But if any of them get inquisitive, my cover is blown. And if I try and leave right now, my cover is blown. You can even see them between the wooden boards of this shed. Would you kindly go away? I don't want to turn this into more than it has to be. They are screaming here for some reason. Also, what I was saying about the redness making the area more deadly. Mmm, I can just see it seeping through. I might benefit greatly from killing off that blood. Well, no, I wouldn't really get anything out of that, do I? Alright, zombies, you don't have to still be here. You can just go. I'd like to go. Screw it. Whoop. Just make a nice loop. Dispatch the screamer. There we go. The absolute joys of being able to operate silently. Wouldn't have gotten away with that in Dark Side though. <laughs> I'll just continue to plug Dark Side at every opportunity because it's so good. But sadly, you can't play with it now. Yeah, maybe if you rolled back the version, you'd be okay. There are. S eh, oh. Did they notice that? No, this weapon is very quiet. Katana machete. Quietness, quite high. Good. Up's the daisy then. Amayu will be fine. We'll switch over to Amayu once I've had a good shake of this. Then again, I haven't prepared dinner. There are two hordes and a screamer in here. I better hope I find what I need fast. Especially if that screamer starts screaming, this place is going to get a little too exciting for my liking. Ooh, well, no, pipe bomb is considerably better than nothing. Only a grenade is a better explosive. Can we, can we sneak down here without anyone noticing? That guy's going to notice! Shut up. Oh, that made too much noise. Fortunately, they'd mostly shambled away too far to hear that. Looks quiet for now, but as long as that plague heart is nearby, this place won't ever feel safe. Game constantly hinting at you to start breaking down plague hearts while I get on it, but it keeps throwing missions at me. You know, all of my meal preparation woes would be taken care of if somebody could just invent and sell for 30 million dollars a tinner. You'd probably need to carpet most of 
Poland with industry just to create such a masterpiece, but imagine. Imagine how far society would grow if we had access to tinner. No one's going to understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> no one that watches uh, State of Decay, at least. I doubt State of Decay viewers are the kind of viewers that would tune in for Rise of Industry. Okay, come on, we're looking for valuables here. A luxury item. Uh, a pipe threader is not one such thing. Oh, but uh, inside these safes... Yes, chicken dinner. Bespoke watch. These used to cost two years' salary. Fantastic. Never goes out of style. There's still one more place that could be searched here. I just don't see where it is. I'd hate to leave this place five out of six, but... Ah, well. I'll go and do that demand for food. And Kaladin's working his way up in the world. Uh-oh. You noticed me, didn't you? Well, let's just... Oh, jeez. At least I got two of those back. Holy moly. No thank you. Remnants of hordes around here. Where is the last thing to search? Is it outside? Let's go dumpster diving for my last thing. I was ignoring Jake's stream notification thinking it'll be Ama Yui. Now I've lost three hours of sod. Damn. Yeah, sucks to be you. Man, I love State of Decay. Wait, where did my... Where did it even go? I swear my bolt just vanished there. I'm getting too gung-ho with my bolts, though. This is this is not right. I do not have an unlimited supply of them. Just because I have a healthy amount now doesn't mean I'll have a healthy amount forever. Really, though, where is that last place I need to search in here? I am five out of six, and I don't see the sixth. Okay, well, there comes a point when one should just give up and move on. Uh, am I at that point yet, though? Come on, there's got to be something. On the plus side, I spent so long searching for it that it's daybreak. I need a rest. Oh, did you drop plague for me? You absolutely did. Any plague sample is good plague sample. Okay, well, wherever you are hiding that stuff, you have bested, bested me. Got stuck there. Yeah, screw, just carry the stuff over. I'm going to the house hunters anyway. I'll just stop by them directly and then go and deal. Actually, I could take this route around the back, couldn't I? Oh, for all I know, that's up a hill though. Now nah, let's not, let's not chance it. One of the downsides of Plague Territory is it's really hard to read that mini map. Well, even harder for you since there's chat on top of it. But whilst you might want to read it, I need to read it. Thong. Damn right, it's a feral. I wonder how these guys are on. Oh, now. We said they could come up here. I shouldn't let these guys get too injured. If they provide a useless bonus, I'm gonna to want to recruit from them. So I will actually, God forbid, contribute to their defenses. I'll go search for some food for you. And ooh, into herbalism. That can be really good. Into computers, that is necessary. Unless there's something really bad about Zoe. I, need a hand. I want that. Some of my from a few Zeds. I help? want that. Tressie needs to calm down, right? I have so many things popping up here, and I just want to kill some plague, so, uh, plague hearts. Oh, 
I know I saw a screamer on my map. Where is it? Probably in here. Oh, there you are. Oh, but that's right on me. Ah, oh, it's grim. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are the, where are the survivors? Right, so I got vomited on by a plague uh, screamer, which does a lot of every kind of damage. That left me ill-equipped to deal with a follow-up. Yeah, uh, and I'll, I'll fix it all. Boomer says work has been appeased. Uh, well, what was going on? Sometimes my character just freezes in place and only spins around. I'm not saying this game is free from bugs. Far from it. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm actually getting really banged up here. I wonder if these guys sell any healing. Oh, what? what is that? Cool semen gun. Oh, I can't trade with them yet. I need to get them that food. Well, on the plus side, I would have cleared out the hot dog stand. On the very downside, our friend here is quite injured. Oh, look who's still there. Well, he's not making any noise this time. Oh, but his friends will. Jeez Louise. Breaking that open, it would uh, cause a lot of, a lot of noise. At least the noise they're making right now is just small-time noise. Ooh. Sounded like a silenced hunting rifle of. Oh, jeez. Calm down. Stop making so much noise. I'm here for the hot dogs. Jeez, I should just fast search for the hot dogs here. This is... Oh! That's the last of them. That was good. Well-placed healing. There's the hot dogs. And... There's the not dogs. <laughs> you want another horde, my hot dog-loving friends? Here you go. Alright, I don't want to hire from these guys because they provide beds and food, which is a great bonus. I want to keep these guys alive. So they give plus one food per day and plus two beds. And that's good because I usually skimp on the beds. Ah! Wanting to keep them alive, right? All right, lovely. Hey, what's up? I think we can help each other out. Okay. They sell duct tape. I want duct tape. I take duct tape. Not so sure I'll buy the food. <laughs> I sold them that food and I could buy it right back off of them. But I don't think we're that desperate for food, are we? Not to the point where it's killing morale, at least. Yeah, we're only minus three per day. Not worth buying it. Swell! Maybe I can return to base and finally, finally, start uh, taking care of those plague hearts. I'll just... Uh, I like to keep things for te uh, tearing down for parts. Because into the mid-game you end up wanting so many parts, it's unreal. However, a friendly face. while I am here, let's sell that deodorant stick. Wait, where's that, um, where's that fancy watch that I found? 
Did I shove it in the car? I did. There we go. Hey, you. I think we can help each other out. Yeah, sure. There's that watch. I'm keeping the rest of my stuff. Not buying any of your junk. Although first aid kits are nice, I tend to run without them because, you know, just prefer to. In the interest of keeping myself alive, I will spend a little bit just to uh, buy and use those painkillers. Even though I will likely just find some out in the open. If it only costs 18 influence to not take a massive risk on that, I will take it. There's bound to be some junk over here for selling, so I'll take an errant look around. How are things going on back at the base? Everybody is fine, other than Kaladin. Oh, right. I should ditch my stuff before I go looting. Always be looting, but make sure you have space for what you find. It's clear, but we can't really secure this place with a plague heart so close by. I do actually like that justification for the gameplay changes they made with Plague Territory. It makes sense, it fits in seamlessly with the rest of the game. Well executed. That's what I like to see. And for this game to be a success, they have to execute things well because it's as generic as it gets. Oh my, a third person action game with zombies. Where have I seen this before? Oh, but you don't understand. Humans are the true evil. Ah. Are those shotgun shells or... Yeah, they are. Good. I don't think there are any... I don't think those missions are going to be time-pressed. What kind of weird one? Oh, no, we've got three screamers over there. But as long as they're on that side of the fence, it should be okay. Oh, jeez. Let's not attract unwanted attention. But I do want inside here. How do I get in? Couldn't help but notice that my friends over there who provide me bed and breakfast are busy shooting. For once, I didn't intend on bringing the horde to them. So how do I get in? Not that way. Mm hmm. Haunted barn. It's white, telling me that there's going to be something good in there, but I see no way into the haunted barn. Maybe it opens up after some events, which would be a first for the game. Ziri says that they could not find in a way either. I worry that if I do find a way in, I won't be finding a way out. Anything else to actually loot around here, though? The rodeo would give me food collection, so maybe there's food in there. Dreary Place over there has some uh, materials, and I love building materials. I also love leveling up that cardio. Let's specialize in... Ooh, good for heavy weapons. I can't wait to knock down a few zombies. Yes, please. Going to be focused on plague hearts this time around, so I will probably be choosing heavy hitter over uh, marathon. I normally just go marathon. I need a rest. Cause hey, more more stamina is good stamina, as the wise saying goes. Hmm. There we go. There's the healing that I was coveting. There's the materials that I always covet. Yeah, Kaladin would be good for busting down some Plague Hearts, but he needs to rest. Plague Heart fighting really takes it out of you. Okay, that was decent. So we are going to go back to base, change out, and then I'll come back up here to start knocking out Plague Hearts. Three of them in this area, and if I clear those, I've got all of this to be looting. And a really safe area up here for it. The main downside is it's not very central. The thing is, the farmland compound is really central. It's also really expensive. Pterodactyl Park just sounds awful, but... Nah, I think I should be going for the Red Town Daybreak FOB, even though I don't know much about it. It could, for all I know, be an awful place to hold a... Uh, ooh, 
You haven't been scouted out at all, have you? And there's food there. I like food. Yeah, I really like food. Let's go and have it. It's only 60 meters away. What's the great pain of Rise of Industry? Seems like Jake was enjoying himself. Oh, a lot. But the game suffered immensely from exploding issues with frame rate and performance altogether. And it was only getting worse and worse. I need to have some drastic way of fi- Uh-oh. Blood feral sighted. Well, <laughs> fine enough, I got the food. No, you don't. Oh, that was way too close. Come on, then. Psych. Hello, friends. Friends? We've got a bloater. Wait, a bloater as well? It's not ideal. There we go. The new meta of taking out the blood ferals. Drop kick them and shank them. Where's that blood feral though? A uh, blood bloater. Okay, it's not here. That's fine then. I will carry that. Drop that. Plenty of lack of encumbrance. And we're making our way back home. You can indeed drop kick zombies if you specialize in powerhousing. Which I never used to, but now I... I understand. Oh god, I need this bucket of bolts to not fall apart on me. I also need to take a right turn somewhere, get back on a main road. Uh-oh, not one that's next to a blood, fer uh, blood bloater, please. Am I going the right way here? Eh, probably. No, no I'm not. Remember that busted road here. That is going to catch me a hundred more times. Oh, can I just drive down here? Bondo, cool. Let's go. Back to base, we switch out for somebody, and we finally get to work on those play carts. Although I bet the moment I get home, I'm going to be uh, accosted with somebody else wanting a mission done. And then, of course, you know, you can't let the missions pass. You get a lot of influence out of those. Um... No, I'm going to keep going back to base. I could just stop in by the outpost instead, but I can't drop my rucksacks at the outpost, and people are hungry for actual food. I wonder where actual food is this time. Because right now everybody back home is just eating uh, a massive satchel of honey. And I mean, I love honey. I wouldn't have a problem with that. My teeth probably would, though. What do we have here? Some dried meat? Mmm, tough and salty, but lasts a long time. Hello to all the citizens of Trumbull Valley. Knew it. This is Lily Ritter with the network. Freaking Lily. I'm reaching out because I'm worried about my friend Ray Santos. He hasn't been answering his Well, radio. I am not worried about your friend Ray Santos, so I'm sure too bad. Okay, but I'd appreciate it if someone could check and make sure everything is okay. Mm, contemplating leveling something up, but I don't think so. Really don't think so. Ah, while I'm at it, it would be very useful to make some spare firecrackers. Although I think if you have chemistry skills, you get a lot more out of that. Oh, I used way too many parts. Probably fixing up that gun from earlier. Okay, well, I will leave you with your scar. And you can take a nap in the level 2 infirmary whilst... Mm -hmm. Ooh, witty, are we? Not sure stealth is what we're looking for here. But lots of health I am most certainly looking for. So IFT, I think I'm gonna get better without help. you're on the case. Your sweet-ass guns, though, are staying at home. This is not a gun operation, although shooting play cards is actually quite good. Drop those, your weapon will be... It's not even here, is it? Boomer has a sledgehammer. 
Boomer can have the ultra light axe then. Where is Boomer? Howdy. Hey. That's a fair trade. Actually, it'd be an even fairer trade if you got the Mamba. You could even carry the ultralight. Nah, there's going to be plenty of stuff to grab. Assuming you get this done properly, there's a good chance you won't. I'm so generous that I'm going to give you some energy drinks and some bandages. Because I think you're going to need them. Although two bandages should be fine. These fucking infestations keep piling up. There's going to be trouble. He's not wrong about that one. Frag grenades. I can always drop out and get those. Yeah, man, they're piling up. The more infestations there are, the more deadly the infestation becomes and the area around them becomes. But it's not infestation time, it's plague heart time. I guess I'll start with the closest one. Gives me a chance to get back to Tartan Mart. Right, well, hopefully you get some cardio out of all of this. Let's go, IFT. Don't let us down. At least if you do die, you're not carrying anything of value. Guns won't help us here. Actually, a gun would help massively if you get attacked by a plague feral. What's the crappiest gun I can give you? The FAL is not crappy. Neither is the Golden Vulture. Tell you what, I'll switch the foul with, I think, Boomer's got that. Wrong way around. There we go. Now IFT has got uh, at least something to say no to ferals with, and I won't miss it if it dies. Make sure we get some fuel and some tool, because I want this thing fixed up. So yeah, the question keeps coming in, but fair enough. The uh, the performance for Rise of Industry just fell apart massively. Goose did some profiling on it, and it's to do with the game's abhorrent pathfinding code. On a map that large, it just cannot seem to handle... Oh my god, we immediately ram a zombie. I'd love to do something other than ram zombies, but these roads are so tight. It's so narrow. Kaladin, I think, will be much better for dealing with um, with hearts, but Kaladin's busy resting up after a job well done up north. So, jeez, oh they are just running into... Can I drive through this? Okay, thank goodness. Oh, not so thank goodness. That's attracting a lot of unhealthy attention. Let's get out, do a quick run around to try and lose them. As long as that plague heart is around, I can't really secure this place. Ah, oh, and we just run into more zombies. It's alright. As long as they don't complicate matters with a screamer or a feral, we're okay. Ooh, a church. Ooh, a zombie. Say no to him getting up. Come on, I'm getting further and further away from my objective here. Fortunately, tall walls are great. They break line of sight. And almost every zombie that climbs over them falls over. Allowing you a freebie for taking care of them. So even if these guys come chasing after me, up and over. Then your anorexic American zombie goes down for the count. I'm not running the mod worm, so there shouldn't be any issues with Plague Heart hit points. They're still going to be tough buggers, but nothing at all as ridiculous as that mod uh, had them. Uh-oh, that guy's trying to break out of there, and I don't want that. Well, I don't want him breaking out and spotting me. So we managed to ditch the zombies that were on us. That guy... Oh, it's just play cart music playing. That bloater is a potential big problem for me. And the horde that is on top of this play cart isn't a potential problem, it is just a problem. I have an idea. It's not a good one, but it's my idea. I'm gonna kill you. And I'm gonna miss.
Now I'm going to kill you. And that should hopefully bring all the zombies out, because they're going to follow the noise of my gunshot. And take them away from there. On top of that, if no one's in here, I can hide out. They'll still know I'm here, probably, and start breaking down the door, but that's okay. Oh, that is excellent, but it's a really bad place for it. Unless I stop by my van and shove it in there. Meds, glorious meds. Just trying to keep those zombies away from the play cart. The thing is, the play cart lets out this massive noise that's going to attract them all there. But that's okay, I can give them the rigmarole. Three good exchanges of the play cart should take it down. As long as they're not in the house so that I can wang away at the play cart with impunity. Don't like the way we're intersecting here. Yeah, he noticed me. Ah, oh, jeez. Every good mistake deserves another. Got to be admirable calves and thighs on these survivors to be able to slav squat their way around as much as they do. Play card is mine. Whoa, there's a few of them there. Let's just very stealthily hop over. Oh, you noticed that? Jeez. Don't scream, don't scream, don't scream. Great. Now neither of you scream, please. bad. It's a noisy weapon to swing. Thankfully, nobody noticed. If it ain't the heat, it's the humidity. Time for a close encounter. As long as there's no zombambos roaming around inside here as well. Well, we found the culprit. Let's get to work. Almost out of air. It's making a lot of noise. All right, get out of there. It's gonna... Yeah, that's the good stuff. That thing makes such a huge amount of noise. It can be real difficult to get slamming away at it. But... I'm feeling cheeky. Let's get back in. Oh, jeez, they're feeling cheeky as well. Where was it again? Alright, let's make sure this is somewhere that I can come into at a moment's notice. Seems they're more interested in doing their hack at around the play cart than come for me. And as long as a feral doesn't get in on this, that's not the worst thing. Come on, then. It really is hurting. Oh. Now, the reason we're able to do all this running and jumping and uh, dallying about is because I've taken an energy drink, which for a short period of time really helps you out. That's enough of that. Oh. Sadly, my energy drink has now passed. We are knackered. But the zombies are largely outside. So if I can just get another good... Well, largely outside. If I can just get another good period of time with this plague heart. Come on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. There we go. Kaboom. 
Now if I can just do clean up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come get some. Yeesh. That's not a good place to be. Ah. Hopefully I don't have the wisdom to be going around the gate here, or the, the wall. Okay. The play card is done for, but I really want to pop it open and grab its goodies. It'll certainly be worth the damage done to the sledgehammer and the uh, the energy drinks that I drank. <laughs> Jake wants to up the difficulty by taking out the play cart early. Well, it's back and forth because taking out the play cart will give me access to the play cart's goodies, which will surely help me fight even better. And the sooner I take out the play carts, the sooner I can move into this other better place. No point looking around here. Wait, where's the play card again? How do I get lost in a six room house? Okay, our goodies involve a kind of crappy backpack, a JL94. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it has an excellent add on. K bar sounds good. Strong painkillers, MREs, a fresh sledgehammer, grenades, snacks, and samples. All in all, a pretty crappy return, but this JL-94 actually seems pretty good. Civilian legal semi-auto version of the Empire MP5A2. Well, its stats look good, looks a whole lot better than the gun I've got right now, but that's largely due to the mod that's on it, I believe. Yeah, but I think brakes are good, aren't they? They add to the lifeline of your, or the lifetime of your weapon, so... Let's be attaching that to our gun here. Alright, one down, two to go. This will be my next target. And we're not that bang- Oh, jeez! Other idea, we'll head back to our outpost, switch out, and uh, maybe if Kaladin's feeling up for it, he can come around for some swinging at the hearts. Ooh, but I want to check out that for meds. Bathrooms have dubious meds in them. I got too complacent. I knew the zombies were crawling all around the place, but I still... still sauntered around. Like I was invincible, but we're not invincible, we're very vincible. Splatty splatty. There we go. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to rip into this hall too bad, it's actually a pretty good hall. Fuel situation is agreeable. I still want to check out that, um, that place though. Let's dunk some of the goods, including the sledgehammer. The hell, including everything we can. And let's go and grab what's in there, because Possibly med. Wait, weren't there already meds? No, I, I jumped in there. I got the meds already, and out I popped. So it's not really worth checking out again. I wonder if I'll ever get used to the smell around a plague heart. Man, IFT, are you normally this whiny? Jake, I just started a new Rise of Industry map. I got some bug where there's a corp with no region, da 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 da. Was it a custom map that you made? Because I think it's just an oversight with the game. All my regions have towns. Was wondering if you found a solution. Uh, no. What I did was I kept re-rolling until I did not have a shell company. It doesn't really matter if there's a shell company, but the shell company is not allowed to own any land. If they do, you'll never be able to get it. I think a shell company itself doesn't inherently hurt you too badly. All right, I gotta dump my stuff here. Be too loud. That's damn heavy. It is damn heavy. In it all goes, and 
open outpost. I could upgrade it and start getting more food, but I want to save up my, my goodies. Although, nah, don't want to. Uh, Kaladin is still a little banged up, but only a little. The Boomer has low health and low stamina. But apparently does tons of squats. Morale bonus from fighting facilities. Hold up at a farm. Hmm. Well, on you go, Boomer. You're the one that tends to find the good stuff. Auto-generated map. Annoying bug. I did want the... Yeah, the, the AI is all sorts of bugged. The game is all sorts of bugged. It's so great if they just fix some of the blessed bugs. Okay, so that fresh sledgehammer is what we're going to be using here. I don't see a reason to have a... Oh, right. Ah... Ah, uh, at least home is close, but I'm, I'm in the middle of fighting plague hearts here. All right, well, let's take the the gun and head on home to deal with that. Still worth doing, because there's good influence to be had out of that, but this game does not like to let up on the events. Uh, curiously, is there another better way over there from here? Mm. The rocky terrain tells me probably not. I don't recognize any of this map from when I played State of Decay 1. Maybe that's for the better. Oh, that's a lot of plague zombies. Generally, though, nothing will fall you 100 meters. So if you run into a big threat, as long as you pass another 100 meters, they're not going to keep chasing you. I think that's just to keep the game running fine. It's very noticeable in multiplayer. Ah, well, I'm here. Meds for folks, food for folks. And let's lock and load. Could always do the dirty cheese that some evil satanic guy taught us all. Nonsense. I'm, I'm very against cheesing out. Uh, sieges. Poor Kaladin. How could you? How could you forget? There are many kinds of ice cream, though. We're not over full on any material, are we? No, but we're pretty high on materials. Ooh, I could upgrade the command center. Definitely getting on that. That's a permanent upgrade and will allow me to get another outpost. And I will certainly be celebrating our newfound area up here with an outpost. Probably on a food place. Calm down. Never ends. Hey, amigo. See you soon. Man, early game sieges are so... You know, why? Why do they exist? I wonder if he's talking to the zombies when he says that. Keep away from the cloud. I love this in games though. Having competent AI buddies, being able to hold their own and contribute towards a defense like this, I love it. It's over. That's a relief. There we go, go. You must be pretty close to being a hero now, Boomer. Yeah, taking out some play cards would help with that, though. I don't think we spent any ammo, so ditch the bullets and let's continue play heart hunting. Unless there is... No, nah, none of these. None of these I'm interested in. <laughs> yeah, I love swinging the heavy weapons. It's what it's all about. Tell you what, though... Uh... I might take some snacks with you, just so you can pop up your morale when swinging. Maybe even a lot of snacks. Hell, I barely ever use them, so I may as well put them to use here and now. Competent buddies, man, that would be nice. <laughs> he doesn't miss a beat, does he? Um, I think we're good in the fuel situation for now. I'll just use what I have. 
And up we go. This next play card's going to be more tricky because it's not against the edge of the edge of the town. But that, that's the one that's our target. Just head north until you have a good right turn for it, I think. Um, what does that make it? First, second, third, fourth right. There's a feral en route. Bonus points if I can run it over. Normally I abhor running over zombies with vehicles because it hurts the vehicles a lot. But if it's a feral and you can take it out by running it over, great. It's just that ver ferals are a little tricky to hit because they love to dodge. I wasn't even trying for that. It was in the middle of all those, uh, all that horde. Well now, Boomer, nobody's died so far, but I always lose somebody on these runs. Tonk. Is this our right turn? Feels like it. Oh, this place is known as Oasis. Swell. Hope it lives up to the name. <laughs> With being, what, dry and humid. Right, scope it out first. Some zombies over there, but they don't know. They don't know where we are. Oh, jeez. Calm down. If you need something, we've got stuff to trade. Stop, bollocks. I love the traders, but they always eat up my influence. Also, I don't have 1486 influence. I got 1411 influence. I was looking at my daybreak points, and I don't really care about daybreak. What's we around here? That, um, I don't think so. So normally what you do before this update is you would take one of these over as a uh, safe area and then zombies wouldn't be able to spawn where the play cart is. But, it doesn't work that way now. Now, you're not allowed to do that. What even is this? Abandoned barracks. I don't think I've ever had the displeasure of sleeping in a barracks situation with strangers. But I hear in American colleges that's what you do. You just, you just you end up sharing rooms with roommates. Madness. People you never even met and you're expected to have all your valuables and yourself in the same room as them. I'm exhausted. Seems weird to me, but what do I know? Right, I need to keep swinging until this thing starts complaining. Well, that's a complaint. Is that a screamer? No, no it's not. Not worth my time then. Oh, that's worth my time. Where's the feral? Right, tell you what, let's get some good sight on the situation first. There's a really annoying bug where zombies can up warp. If you're up here and they're down there, they can just warp up to your location, grab you and do a ton of damage and even throw you off of where you're standing. It's every bit as horrible as it sounds and it's really horrible. Right, feral, location, where? I can see it on my mini-map, why can't I see it on my map map? I think it's down there. It might not be the biggest threat. Yeah, zombies learning cheese tactics as well. How can they do this to me? Right, I got a nice opportunity here to make these guys clear off, and I'm going to take it. Fire in the hole. Get out of here. Exception to that will be if I spy the feral and have a good opportunity to euthanize between the eyes. Oh no, they're still they're still roaming around down there. Damn this zombie you hanging around here was not nice. Down you go. Time to get stuck back in there, Voomer. know where the heart is, don't need to have our thing on it. A 
Let's make sure the doors are closed. Alright, snacks are not as good as the energy drinks, but they're a damn sight cheaper to have. It's almost done. Just a little more. Oh boy, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Ah, jeez. I didn't get away from it fast enough. I breathed in its nasty plague fumes, and that dropped my maximum stamina, and that's really bad. Oh, why thank you, Mike. I believe the implication there is that you're out of expensive Stockholm, which is kind of what you implied earlier as well. But do let me know if you're back in this neck of the woods. Yeah, I've slept in worse places, but not much worse. like how I almost fell off the edge there. Okay. Can't do it. Oh, I don't like this. Ups the daisy. Go over to the other side. However, um Yeah, set this down here. gonna make a lovely bit of noise over on that side and hopefully it'll give me a distraction to come down from this side. Again, downside is if that feral starts activating or aggravating on it. Lovely. Sound distractions are so nice in this game. I love the way they work as well. But like most things, they work better in dark side. Come on, Boomer, it's almost done. Finish the fight. Yeah! Pop it, take it all, take it all, take it all. Everything. She got it, she got it in the one shot. Now let's get the- oh, bollocks! What are the odds of that? A bloater just uh, popped itself right next to the van, meaning I can't get in the van. Uh-oh. Okay, this just complicated itself quite a lot. Can I quickly grab this while we're here? Why not? Yeah, jeez. Yeah, jeez, yeah, jeez, yeah, jeez. Can we climb up this? Whew. Tell you, I don't think I could make that climb. That bloater on the car was a whole load of nonsense. However, however, look at how much of the map we just cleaned up with that. If I take care of this, then pretty much the north is clear. Unfortunately, I don't need another infirmary. Ah, but a swine and bovine would be very handy as an outpost here. More food. More food is more good. Still claimed by that play cart though, but um I just dropped off a couple things I found while I was out. Flashbang is nice. You know what, what's the point in having things if you don't use them? Those are almost gone. Oh it bounced away, didn't it? I did a lot worse a lot less than I wanted it to. That's what we're talking about. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I'm stuck. There we go. Ooh. Pretty sure we got John's shotgun. Where am I going here? Where am I going? Going, 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 going. Yeah, you know what? Let's reverse. Who's that guy? He's dead. That's who. Alright, that was great. Well, two for two. 
And we just need one more. So I actually reckon that IFT is going to have to take care of the last... Uh... Oh, that's so good. Wait, not IFT. Who's the one that still needs to kill a, kill a play cart? Did Kaladin or IFT take one out earlier? Anyway, the last person should be taking care of it. And is this the trader's location? Oh, that is so convenient. Yeah, Kaladin, you're in the game. Ooh, brick hammer. Not as good as sledgehammer, sadly. Oh, that's right. Dunk the... Hmm? Oh, I did it the wrong way around. I meant to take it out onto me. Here we go. Hmm, let's talk to the trader first. Where are they at? Nothing heard that. Hey there. Interested in trading? Why not? Mmm. Grenade launcher. Double mmm. Shotgun press. Handgun press. I want the shotgun and the handgun and the rifle ammo press. They're all so good. I mean, so good. Uh, get rid of rusty screwdriver. Get rid of strong painkillers, get rid of stimulants, even though stimulants are amazing for taking out play carts. Uh, they are really good. I think I'll hold on to the, the stimulants for now. Yeah, I will. It's too, it would be silly to throw it away. But I want the handgun press, shotgun awesome. press, and rifle press badly. Now I'll be able to make all those kinds of bullets. Nice shotgun. Time for a to check oh, I didn't put IFT into the clinic, did I? Okay, well, hey, Kaladin, you're up. Now, Kaladin's got the sighted Scar H, which you will not be bringing with you on this occasion. You need to make sure that you're bringing a nice, heavy... Ah, crumbs. You've still got the sledgehammer on you, the other guys. Oh well, brick hammer it is. Good impact, crappy durability. Eh, good enough. And then I will take a bottle of stimulants and hope that it lasts long enough for this to be a success. What else am I bringing with me? You know, it probably won't, so let's bring him some backup snacks with us. And in the case that we run into a feral, that's where we use... Do we use our Kodiak? Poor control, poor range. But, ah, what the hell. Eighteen rounds. If that can't take out any old feral, then you're pretty much a waste of space. Feel bad for not having that golden vulture in use, though. You know what? It even takes those shells, so why don't you just... Oh, I'm wasting daylight hours. This is bad. But still, the size of that gun, holy moly. This is my last mag. Could be a problem later. It's our only mag. Is there anything else that I want to sell? Some beer, a crappy backpack. Um, yeah, none of that. Oh, there's a thought. I want to install my signal antenna whilst I can. Signal antenna will give us an extra outpost, taking us to four, which is good. Very good, even. Yeah, might as well use the cat, uh, Kodiak before I lose it, which I have a habit of doing. Hold on, that took a while. Is it magazine fed? Sure. All right, that'll do us. Ah, jeez, it's getting dark, which is not a good time for plague heart dealing, but I'm sure Kaladin's up for it, right? Never been known to wimp out, has he? No, not the beetle mallet. That's probably my favorite um, plague heart crushing thing. This is, this is a, oh, oh dear, that was a juggernaut part of a horde. Threw me off because it wasn't on the mini map, and I'm going the wrong way here. How did I manage to end up turning the wrong way? For 
not on Wandering Trader anymore, so let's get rid of that. Oh well, I'm going this way, we'll take the northern route. <sighs> yeah, our weapon is just a pile of bricks on the end of a stick. So it's nowhere near as durable and it's slightly less effective than the sledgehammer that we were using before. But we'll just make do. Better stay on my toes while I'm in plague territory. But this is it, Kaladin. You have the power to end the Northern Plague Territory, which will make it considerably safer for everyone, especially us. And really, we're all that matters. So, same, same way as we took care of everything else. Just make sure we're in a good position without attracting every damn zombie around. Uh, you know what? If you reverse over zombies, it's not that bad for the health of the vehicle. So let's just reverse over those ones. Try out our load of uh, bricks on a stick. Wow, that is a massive reticule. Reticule? Aiming thing? I don't know. Not into gun talk. But somewhere inside this building is a play cart. I don't suspect it'll be hard to find. I just shove it open, I've killed the zombies anyway. Oh, that doesn't sound like killed all the zombies. Nor does it look like it. What a loud weapon. Oh! <laughs> Oh boy, we might not be taking this heart out. It's not all we've got. Who invited Duffman to the party? Well, things got complicated real fast. Oh, I'm not safe in here. That's a screamer. Oh my days! Ow! Alright, Calden needs a breather. Ugh, just climb up these eight foot uh, metal boxes. Breathe for a bit, because I'm not going to spend... Um, I'm not going to spend snacks on that. And then don't injure yourself falling down from here, please. Pretty cool and even slightly realistic way that they drop down from high places. I really like that in the game. Managed to run 150 meters away from my target. Not good. However, I've largely lost the beasties that were after me, but I strongly suspect Duff is still patrolling that plague heart. And I can't take him down with 18 shells. Plague juggers are really, really hard to kill. Your best bet is to take him out with headshots from the large caliber rifle. I forget what the exact caliber is. Don't worry, he might be looking at me, but he can't actually see me. I, however, can see him. Shut up already. There we go. Maybe he won't fit through the door. Possibly. But he's going to seal off that exit, and in the heat of the moment, I'm not going to remember that, and I will end up running face first into. Ooh, free sample. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> free sample. That comes out wrong. Or at least different than him. Than him. Uh, ooh, well, let's finish that thought when I'm in a safer place. Looks quiet for now, but as long as that play card is nearby, this place won't ever feel safe. <laughs> the jug will remind you so you don't forget. If I get jugged. There's no coming back from that. Well, Calden will end up twice the man he used to be, let's put it like that. I'm really impressed with this plague territory stuff they added. It really makes doing everything outside of your immediate zone so much more deadly. No safe zones, lots of plague zombies, lots of zombies. I feel like there are more zombies than you'd normally get. The problem is it's just not Dark Side. Dark Side would have a pack of five ferals on me right now. And me and the rest of the survivors would be uh Ah oh crap. Me and the rest of the survivors would be 
debating over who gets to use the broken handgun with two bullets. Alright, unfortunately that'll attract some other zombies, but fortunately I don't spite- oh, there's Duff. Well, I think I've just got to swallow it. Uh, I've just got to swallow it. Oh, very nice. Oh, Boomer found some expired meds. And is more than willing to chug them. Good news for me, I guess. Man, Duff is putting me off. But I'm still going to do this. I have to take the north. If Kaladin has to die to take the north then um, I, I'm sure someone will feel the loss. You never do get used to the smell. McDuff is actually a place uh, up in the up in the ancestral home. Am I gonna no, let's not ravish the snack machine while we're at it. It's just gonna fill up my inventory with stuff I don't need. What I need is to eliminate this and hope that Duff Boy doesn't come and ruin my day. Is that the... It's pretty hard to spot. I figured it would be easy to find around here, but... Where is that Plague Heart? I hope it's not right next to Duff, because that's a problem if it is. No, I don't think it is. That looks like it. That looks a lot like it. Excellent. Okay. Let's make this matter. Now nah, you're fine. Oh, I didn't even need the meds. Ah, easy does it. Don't mind me, friends. Plenty of places to run, jump over, and break line of sight. This might actually be perfect for Kaladin. And that big, powerful swing he had. Really mulched it, despite using a lesser weapon. I mean, honestly, I'm not convinced that's a particularly good weapon. Bricks aren't that good. You can break bricks with your bare hands. Okay, that is swell. Your ability to get out of there. It's working out well for us. Let's celebrate by drop kicking a zombie. Wait, that wasn't a drop kick. What was that? I guess it doesn't matter too much, but still. Where did the drop kick go? You, you just tonked him with your weapon instead. There's a slight problem with this. Oh, there's another slight problem. Can ferals come up here? That's a yes! Die! Freaking ferals. Oh, this is magazine fed. Ah. Well, if they didn't know we were here before, I sure know now. There's no way Duff didn't hear that. Alright, let's go. You cannot drop kick with a heavy weapon. Oh, now, now they tell me. Oh, gee, there's <laughs> a few of them. Don't let them grab you. Run up, over, back through, and then there won't be much left of that heart. Hold on, tell me there's another way out of here. Okay, good. Back to the heart. We got work to do. I don't think I'm being followed, which is good. Let the stamina build back up. Say your prayers, Plague Heart. Now, I don't know what the damage modifier is on taking the long swing, but I gotta say, if he's able to bring it down like that so quickly, I might not even... Oh, no. I was gonna say, I might not even have to retreat before my next swing, but I need that gas around it to dissipate. It's hard for me to tell whether it's gassy or not, because the whole place is gassy. 
That seems to help. Was that a feral? Or was that just something else? Sounds like a feral. No, no, don't run! Get up there! Oh, jeez. Come on, then. Holy moly, this shotgun was the right tool for the wrong job. Alright, in and out, no mucking about. That plague heart dies now. I shouldn't need power swings. I should hope not, because I don't plan on doing them. Yeah! Oh no, oh dearie me no! There was another feral. And a lot of friends. Oh jeez, how many ferals they want to throw at me? It's only lethal mode. I don't think ferals can get up here, so it's actually not very good. I want to be in a place where uh, where you can come up and, and spook me. Uh-oh. This is actually really bad. I'm on such low health that the feral could knock me down and kill me. And I don't have a lot of bullets to dispatch it with. Especially at range like this with a shotgun. Ah, oh, that's so close. It's all about taking out the feral here. It's the only real threat. And it is quite a threat. Feral loves to play with other zombies. Makes a lot of noise and just makes other zombies want to come here. And it doesn't actually injure the zombies as best as I can tell. Where is it at? Its head is wide open for shooting if it just peers out for a moment. I wonder if it's inside the, the room there. Again, I could run down, just run away and then shoot it as it approaches, but if I miss, then Kaladin gets uh, one shot by the feral. You know, I have something for a situation like this. Rooftop snipe support. Somebody watch over me. Somebody with a really big gun. Also, I'm going for this. I'm in. Come get me, Feral. out there. Come get some. Yeah! Done and dusted. Hopefully they're not right on my ass here because I'm taking everything. And we're getting at- where's my van? There's my van. Just past big man, but that's okay. Ah, screw it. Don't notice me, Duff! What's up with Duff? He's just obsessed with that door. Okay! We have freed the north! We have well and truly freed it. I want to take over... the swine and bovine, and that'll be our safe zone for now. I don't know what Duff's problem is, but hey, it works for me. Alright. I think this is how we'll do it. We'll be trading between each character for taking out the plague hearts. What cloud? Alright. If I take the swine and bovine, then everything becomes a hundred percent. Oh, Christ. 
Oh, nice! The sniper support that I ordered took that out. They must be firing from a drone or something, because they're damn good at what they do. Notice that these are no longer horrible plague zombies. Oh! Jeez. Ignore whatever I was going to say there. There we go. Last shot well spent. If it killed that thing, it did not kill that thing. Well, that's unfortunate. I came here to take this place, not get taken by this place. How do your ankles feel, Kaladin? Think you could take that fall? Yeah, it's probably a bad idea. Holy moly, it's still not dead. Maybe I should take advantage while I can and uh, remove myself from the premise. Still need these things dead though, or else I'm never gonna be able to take over the swine and bovine. But fortunately, Big walls help out with that. Over here, you shambling assholes. Hopefully, it doesn't take anything from behind me. Especially not a feral, now that I've spent all of my feral killing bullets. sworn I could hear a feral, but appears not. Alright, well, might be busy here for a little bit, Kaladin. Hope you don't mind. Yeah. Oh, come on, take it down. Any more for any more. Fairly getting our mileage out of these bricks on a sticks. Yeah, you know what? If we unequip this from all oh, trench tool, that is two million percent a feral. Hmm. All the more reason that I want this place secured. Where's that screamer at? It's the one causing all these issues. If I can get the drop on it. And then we shouldn't have further issues. There we go. This place could come in real handy as an outpost. It is about to. Nice. Okay. Post is secure and and with that, I've actually got a reasonable safe area right where I want it. A couple more survivors on my side and I'll be able to take over that red talon FOB. First order of business, deposit the goods that I've got here. Maybe close the doors since I know there's a feral prowling around. And maybe restock the shotgun on the shotgun rounds, if you please. Dillinger Pattern 1911 with a handmade break. Well, for one, that thing is losing that crappy mod. Handmade ones are awful. I remember having a lot of trouble trying to reload a magazine when I was having my first and even second stab at firing guns, which I've only ever done in America. You know, as you do. But I can't recall it ever being difficult to load the magazine. Where's the truck? Don't want to attract the feral over here. Be very bad. All right, I have something for you. I got a line on where we might find that equipment we've been looking for. I always want more building supplies, Boomer. Just say the word. <laughs>
We've got plenty of food now, actually. Three units of food. Can I climb through this? Ah, too narrow. But it's so narrow. Nice how they light up the uh, the safe houses like this. Yeah. It's also really nice how you quickly search your own safe houses. That's a lot of stuff. Moving on. Yeah, Calvin, I know you're not uh, used to having to carry here, but please grab the backpacks. There's nothing left to salvage here. Grace and diligence. I'm not even going to heal you up because I'm about to switch you out as a character. Because I want to get on Voomer's goods here. Let's see. Drop, 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 drop. Might as well keep that shotgun. Ah, now the fin fowl's so much better. There we go. Shotgun's good for people that need to clear out these things. Fin fowl versus scar, though. Why must the game give me the most difficult battles of choosing the... Whoa, now, don't you be making any noise. I'll have to switch you out before I regret it. Boomer's only a little bit banged up, surely. I'll take stamina used. Yeah, I'm sure you're fine. Let's go for it. The lighting addition. Great quality of life indeed. Actually being able to see and give a sense that your outpost is actually your outpost is a wonderful touch. Right, much as we like that, I'm really falling for the whole shotgun as our um, feral destroyer idea. Now, where are those pillage and plunder goods? Wait, it's IFT who knows about them? I thought Voomer did. Fair enough. You can get a lot of materials out of this. Two rucksacks, at least, I believe. I should talk to Voomer about that place she... Oh, so either way, we have to talk to Voomer. So we have to go back to the base, which is what I was trying to avoid. Should definitely clean up all of these outbreaks as well. Tell you what, I can take care of one of them on the way back. We'll just make sure that you've got... Man, I love that professional break, but let's detach it for now. So that I can put it on something potentially better. Oh man, the scar can take the break. Oh yes. Oh, the scar just became such a killing machine. But we're not using it for now. We'll take the... Repeating crossbow and some of these. And a better backpack. And we're not in sledge. I don't want to use the sledgehammer if we're not taking out play cards, so take the mamba instead, and that should be good. And this is all looking fine, and... Right, so either way you cut it, I need to go and talk to you. So we'll go back, we'll take care of this infestation, talk to Boomer, and get to work. I should definitely also be locating new enclaves on the map. But it costs 150 of my precious points to do so. So I'll just wait for them to spawn naturally. Would you consider State of Decay 2 to be the game equivalent of junk food for you? It's a little harder to just pick up and go with State of Decay 2 because a, a campaign in this takes quite a long time. And if you're not playing a full campaign of it, then you're just kind of messing around, which isn't very gratifying. It would be like saying that Europa Universalis or Crusader King is your junk food, because you don't you don't have a short couple hours with that. Well, you can, but it's not the short couple of hours that you drop and then pick back with something di different later on for another couple hours. Still, it does feel kind of junk foody. If you have an established Oh, look who it is! Honk your horn for, uh, for Duff, man. You might be wondering why is he calling him Duff? It's actually uh, Dark Young calls him Duff, and I think it's a fitting name. Because he knows some big fat ass back home by name of Duff who looks just like the Juggernaut. And we all know that guy. Alright. Food, food, and... Wait, there's no room for more food? We were having food issues not that long ago. How can we have so much food? 
can't even upgrade my storage for more food here. Oh, we're at 25. 25 out of 25 is fine. It just means I can't put more in. Okay, Voomer, you couldn't have just told me over the radio. Where are the goodies? Also, good point. We don't have anyone in charge. Voomer could be in charge if we want to go trader. And Kaladin is also trader. Hmm, let's put Voomer in charge. Trader has the hardest mission in the game to win the game with. And it's not hard because it's hard, although it is hard because it's hard. It's hard because it's broken. I have tried that mission at least a dozen times, and in at least half of those things, it just broke. Oh, you're going to come along. This sounds a little dangerous. Are you sure you're not banged up? Oh, Kaladin is. Get yourself checked in. Right, you've got the Kodiak. I'd rather you had the upgraded Scar, personally. Just in case things get uh, loud. Where are you at? Now this is super risky because if this goes south, both of us could die. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. Having the repeating crossbow might not be the best of insurance if things do go really pear-shaped, though. Maybe I'll carry a shotgun on me as well. So where where are we pillaging and plundering? Oh god, it's a million miles away and infested. And I forgot to clear that infestation. But with the juggernaut nearby, maybe he can just have it. Grab a car. Well, I'd rather grab the van. Okay, well, let's let's a go go. Big risk, big win. And a uh, big lack of fuel, I think. Let's make sure we have some. Really starting to feel like... Oh god, another infestation. Could it slow down on the infestations? Please. One, two, three. Uh, oh, maybe it's counting that one that spawned for the mission. Ah, right. What's even the direction here? We can take this, turn right at the end of the road, and then the first left. Well, works this for me, I guess. Is officially I out of control. know that infestation! We just had one spawn. Unbelievable. For some reason it wasn't showing the fuel level. When I tried to refuel it. But it shows here, I think. Yeah, let's fill it up. Infestations hurt morale, so I, I don't want them spiraling out of control. Many infestations, minus seven. And we're plus 20 because of the play card, but that doesn't last long. I actually think morale is easier to manage on dark side than on vanilla. Because on vanilla, you get very little bonus for a very short time for dispatching special zombies. Well, it's, it's only juggernauts and uh, ferals that count, but those are the only ones that are a special case to take care of. But play carts in uh, Darksider plus 100 for quite some time. Oh, jeez. I'm really hoping somebody sells upgrade kits for this van. I want the upgraded van a lot. Where did I say we're turning? Left or right? Left or right? Left or right? Right. I believe it's turned left at the end of the road. You gotta stay frosty. Plague zombies all over the place. Uh, does this count as the end of the road? It does. Uh oh, American zombie! Get off of my ride! This is going to be the worst place to possibly lose the vehicle, because we are as far away from the home as we can get ourselves. Well, uh, Voomer communicating in door slams just broke the door. I've still got my door for as long as it lasts. This is weird, it's not showing me the fuel level in the car right now. Definitely has a fuel level, maybe it's being um, broken by the fact that this mission wants you to have a vehicle. 
for all the sense that makes. Heads up, port approaching. Well, let's just approach in the other direction. Hey Doc, we got some unwelcome visitors. What the hell do you think you're doing here? Who's that mad scientist? Calm down, Nikki. They might be able to help us. Come up to the station, will you? Mickey will behave himself, I promise. It's like nobody cleaned this dump out yet. Huh? Eyes up. Zombies nearby. I know there are zombies nearby. Let's try not to go too loud, Boomer. Did I just hear a feral? I better not have. They are making one hell of a din over there. I don't like it. At least they got the door open. That is definitely a feral. I hope you are cock locked and ready to rock, Boomer. Because I don't know where it. Oh, there it is. Let's keep an eye on it. That zombie's getting closer. Wow, this zombie's right here! There we go. Boomer! Thank you. I don't think the AI does very well with uh, heavy weapons, so maybe it's a mistake giving Boomer the sledgehammer. So please don't shoot the car, and please do shoot the screamer. Nice. Keep it going, Voom. Boomer? Could have gone a lot worse. Plague heart is around. We can't really secure this place. I also can't seem to pick up my bolts. There we go. Sweet. Well, if it's completely cleared out, then this is a nice freebie to take all that we can grab. I think we needed this. Excellent. Absolutely did. Fucking a. Now we are searching everything in here whilst we're here, and we'll take everything out to the van that we can. Seriously, that's it? Even if it's just a Bowie machete. Well, even if we can't store all this in the base... Holy moly, what? Where am I gonna <laughs> fit that? Yeah, yeah, we're having all of that, please. But whilst the going is good, I'll search everything. If I pop out, you never know, I might just run into a screamer, track a horde, and suddenly I won't have all the freedom that I want to tear this place apart. How are you feeling, Boomer? Mm, you haven't taken much damage. But I don't know what your level of infect uh, infection is. Oh, hell yes to all of this stuff. Keep the door closed, not attract any unwanted attention. Three sacks of materials is already a great haul for any place. But if you're going to make it four sacks... Well, who am I to deny? Yeah, I know that last one was fuel, but hey, a sack is a sack. Why does it want me to meet with Dr. Hoffman? I do not want to meet. Where am I going to fit that? With any old Hoffman. There are 28 play cards, that's quite a lot. And. Yeah. Oh, whoa now! That's what I'm talking about. I want to make sure I've done all my searching just in case things get a little pear shaped once I'm out of there. 
Because even a random zombie can do a scream. It's not as potent as a screamer's scream. There. Whoops. Fortunately, he didn't even notice. I think we'll repair this hunk of junk up while we can, since it's smoking. You really don't want to do the story quest. Ah, I don't think I do. Don't know why. They must have just taken that uh, people love story in their zombie games. Uh, that's lost on me, but what do I know? Clearly I'm not the target audience for this kind of game. Oh, I hadn't searched this. Okay. Had I searched the corner there? Thought I had. Don't know how Boomer managed to recover whilst we're on this mission, but sure. Check that off the list. Doesn't count as the mission done until we uh, put them back home, but I hope Boomer starts following again so that she actually gets in the in the van. Excellent. You know, Boomer, that was some top-notch work with the scar. I wouldn't be opposed to you just holding on to that scar. Yeah, this is an all-you-can-eat buffet of um, of rucksacks. This is wonderful. Love the rucksack system in this game. Boomer, please. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> just shoot your gun. It's no big deal if an AI shoots a gun with regards to noise. AI makes vastly reduced noise. There, that is everything you're taking. The quest chain ends in having no more sieges. Oh, oh. I love sieges though, why would I want to get rid of them? Okay, this is a ton to take home, and I've already got good um, good stuff back home. Still though, off we tra- well actually while we're here, there happens to be a drab garage with yet more potential uh, materials for us. So why not? Why not? That was brilliant. Two headshotted bloaters mean they aren't going to pop for a little while. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Boomer, please, some backup. Oh, well, at least it's not tampons this time. There we go. You gotta get greedy, right? You don't get greedy, you're never gonna get the big win, and I'm here for the big wins. By the way, could you hold on to my roll of toilet paper, please? And while we're at it, take the drugs and the chemicals. Two kilometers to get back home. Must be pretty nerve-wracking for poor IFT clerk. He's the only one back in the base whilst we are as far away as we've ever been. I want to use this to scout out while we're here. It makes no sense to pass by this opportunity. There also might be yet more stuff here, Boomer, so could you please hold on to this rucksack? What I mean, right? Why would we not just try to take every single thing we can? Scout everything, take everything, then if we get back safe and sound, huge payoff. Maybe IFT's an introvert and enjoying their time? Oh, I wouldn't put it past them. There's a feral around here somewhere. Well, I'm glad I know now rather than when it's on top of me. Yeah, nothing more to see here. Ooh, another vehicle over there. Over where? Oh, <laughs> I don't know how you spotted that, but good on you. All right. There might be fuel over in that big drum. There's some really irregular breathing. I don't like that. I didn't grab the goodies. Oh.
There were goodies up there that I forgot to grab. So back up we go. Otherwise the tower will show up as white on my minimap and I will keep thinking that there's something I didn't do there. Playing Rune Factory back in the fort to get away from it all. What video games would you play in the zombie apocalypse? Rune Factory might not be a bad choice. Ugh. <laughs> Maybe play State of Decay or uh, Project Zomboid. But Project Zomboid would still be in early access, even with the zombie apocalypse. Alright, what are we thinking? At the very least, there should be there should be some fuel in here, if not a rucksack. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Toolbox is often found inside the toolbox. I did a lot of volunteer work yeah. the homeless for a while. There's a good way to appreciate be continued. Yeah, it's all that. So about those there, homeless. Man. Gotta stay frosty. Plague zombs all over the place. Where were we? Right. I did a lot of volunteer work with the homeless for a while. There's a good way to appreciate the simple things. Sometimes. Other times it was just a way to appreciate just how shitty life could be. That is so messed up boomer that shit's gonna slow me down on the other hand that is an unbelievable amount of rucksacks if I didn't have the van this would be almost out of the question but not quite we need to go back home we're going down the way turn right at the thingamajigger then second left I'm sure I'll remember what thingamajigger is so we don't screw up the homeward journey. That'd be an embarrassing way to go. Lose these guys, lose the good gun, lose the repeating crossbow, lose eight rucksacks of goods. And a nice mod. Whew, that's a lot of zombies. I know, I know. That's why we're getting out of here. Is this the thing that I turn right on? No, no it's not. It's the other thing. The thing after the tunnel. I don't have room to store all that stuff, but I certainly have room to spend that stuff, so don't you worry. I can also uh, bring the crappy car over and just use that as off-site storage on the site. Oh, where am I even make my turn here? Right, soon. I can get my sniper call back. Whoa! Zombies got death wishes. I guess it's all the same to them. We're not going to unlock these places? There we go. Have to get up close and proper with them for them to appear on the map there. No, we're not using the mod for extra trunk space. The van just has a good amount by default. And if I upgrade the van, it's going to get one more. Am I going the right way here? I am not. That was my turn that I missed. Even if the van were to somehow explode here, we could hobble our way back home. So this is looking good. Oh, I can even like just... Oh, Christ. What freak? I'll drive around to the other side just in case. Good job, Boomer and IFT. Wait, oh, IFT's here, right? It's uh, Kaladin back at the fort. How could I be so daft? That should be a big help. Our community will flourish if we keep making smart choices like this. That worked out even better than I expected. All right, now we've got tons of stuff in the base, so I need to use it before it uh, starts melting away. So I think I'll actually upgrade storage to storage two. 
And then I will take out a rock sack of food so it doesn't spoil. That shit's gonna slow me down. And I'm going to drive the crappy car over here, which will cost one fuel, but I believe, yeah, I picked up one fuel, so we're okay. It's good to bring the cars with you, even if you're not going to be using them, because they're good off-site storage, and on top of that, they will travel with you when you go to a new location. Explains why you don't, weren't doing powerhouse stuff, you weren't powerhouse Kaladin. Ooh, winter sail. That'll be useful for that Christmas stream. I have a bit of a malicious... Uh-oh, I know what I heard. Ow! Guys, this is your problem, not mine. Looking oh. good, my friend. Yeah, well, that feral ain't. You wanna, you know, shoot the thing? Oh, wow, it wants to shoot you. we go. It's less than pleasant. So, um, about grabbing that car. Barrels are such an ever-present threat in the game, break. even when you're not playing on dark side. And then doubly so when you're playing on dark side. The story always starts off with this car that you drove here to and is just out of gas. Of course, that's not all the car is missing, but it does go. The lack of doors really exaggerate how bad Nick the car is in. It does go, and it goes just fine. Now what I'll be doing is bringing you over here, and this will be off-site storage for, well, whatever we need it for. That's a lot of racket. certainly is. All right. There we go, and I'll be taking that last bit back, making sure everybody Everyone, is kitted up. Please. Oh my the god! <laughs> to just no end to it, is there? Right. Give me the shotgun. That's what we need for a situation like this. Do I really want the shotgun on you? What else could I be having? You know what? You could have that, that awesome golden vulture thing. And then we'll be playing as a bit of... No, no, I should be playing... I should be playing as you, because I want you leveled up. And you will get your level up for this. Tough negotiation. It's a terrible bonus. But it's your bonus to have. You'll just be using the Mamba. This gun is if a juggernaut decides to pop on in. And a juggernaut popping in this early would be absurd. But, uh, honestly, welcome. Fuck, screamer. The door is really powerful. Stop shooting the van. All right, they seem to be holding the base just fine. Forgive me if I pull back a little bit. That's a lot of racket. This might be a lost cause. Our threat level is actually quite... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't agreeing to having, um, having you here. Guys, make with the bullets. So cool. I just love it when AIs are capable like that. First time I ever had that feeling, truly, was when I. Yeah, down you go. 
was when I played Left 4 Dead for the first time. Unbelievably competent AIs there. Of course, when you start playing with good players, it, it doesn't feel so good. But at that time... Ooh. Helped that I was playing on console for the first time. There we go! I think this sword was well worth the money. It's fast, easy to swing, doesn't cost much stamina, and very good at killing. And what's more, if we take good care of it, it'll be good for the rest of the game. You just don't have multiple plague jugs first siege. Ah, oh, but where's the where's the fun in not having that? Well the fun is in being able to continue your game, of course. Right, now where were we? You are trotting off to bed. And you do get consistent oh, consistent routine, nose to tail. We've got everybody's hero bonus. Labor, food, and influence. The influence is bleh to the max, but the others are good. I can get myself an extra outpost. We're working on building that up. Shit. You wanna find, me a sick bed. find you a language there, IFT. But everybody's well kitted out now. What's more, we have extra guns so that when we bring other people in, they'll be able to be kitted out well as well. Oh yeah, we gave you this stuff, didn't we? Bye bye Scar, hello crossbow, because it's time to... It's time to take care of what's been piling up, and that's infestations. I need to crush these before they make the map uninhabitable. Still this red haze around here, as if to say it's still very dangerous. I wonder what can be done to alleviate that. Maybe taking out infestations will help, or maybe you just have to go around killing zombies. I don't know. But we'll be finding out more of that next time we stream this game, which will probably be tomorrow. For a long time. Because why wouldn't it be? I can't fix Rise of Industry that fast. Well, maybe I could, but I won't try just yet. I'll enjoy some lovely junk food with State of Decay 2. Uh, I'll be taking the stream down for a short while, but I'll be back up with Ama Yui. Um, depends what I can rustle up for dinner. So it might take 40 minutes, it might take 100 minutes. We'll see. In any case, until I am back, it's a cheers and a cheerio.